I rap the gang, gang, gang. What it good be, homie? It's what it should be. This is your boy, N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this Drink Chaps Yappy Hour. Make some noise! Now, right now, right now, when we started this show, I wanted this brother on this show. I've got to see him from one of his first shows in New York to here. I don't know if you remember the story. We'll get to that later. Hold on, let me get to that later. But <laughs> I want to um, show but this brother here. If you put George Clinton, Willie Nelson, Damn. Snoop Dogg, and put a little bit of the Beast Boys in there, <laughs> we'll all feel good music. This is what this brother would be. He has relentless, and I, 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 I can, I can see him, and I've never, I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever seen him mad. I think I actually see he actually enjoys life. He's made, he's been on a crazy mixtape run to all of his accolades, to all of his this things and things and things and things, and he got all type of clothing lines, all kinds and of merch, and, and Khalifa cushions and all this and liquors and, and liquors. He's an entrepreneur. No, he's the first stoner to come here on time. <laughs> Excuse me. He came early. You're early. I was still getting my hair cut. I was like, oh, this is the first time. And when I gave him a five, he said, because I'm a businessman, Nor. And in case you don't know who we talking about, we talking about the one, the only. Motherfucking hey, Wiz hey, Khalifa. Hey, hey. What's cracking? Yes, yes, yes. My brother, thank you for being here. Thank you yeah. for having me. Yo, um, one of our, one of the first shows I believe that you had in New York. I don't know if it was the first show, but I think it was like one of like your top five. It was the first show. It was the first show. Yeah. And do you remember what happened? I do remember. What happened. Do you remember what happened? Yes, 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 I do. Do, do you remember what you called yes, me? Yes, I called you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did I call you? You called me Wiz Kayafa. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, so I'm a kid. I'm like, I'm like still in high school and shit. I was like 17 years right, old, right, maybe. Right. And this was uh, all hip hop. It was breeding ground. Mm. So this was like early mm. blog era days. Peter really. Rosenberg. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So there was only like a couple cats doing blogs, and they were covering a couple dudes. Right. And uh, it was me, uh, the cool kids. I right. think uh, what was what was knowledge in in his dudes group's name? Ooh, they were from Chicago as well. I forget. You said cool kids already. Uh. So yeah, wow. but uh, yeah, it was us, wow. and Nori was the host. was the host. Yeah, so he was like, you know, everybody yeah. loves Nori. He's legendary. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? We all look up to yeah, Nori. Right. And I fucked up your name. It was I, I it apologize. was classic. It was you know, perfect. Let me just say, let me just say, it was, it was, it was the best. Me, it was the best person to fuck up my name. And I feel like you'd be making up your own words anyway. So Kayapa, yeah, Kayapa, it means something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I thought? That's how you pronounce the um the thing in Dubai. Oh, okay. What is it called? Khalifa. Khalifa, yeah. yeah the Burj. I, I was close. You I was right. close. That was, the, yeah. the Burj was not even built back then. Yeah, it wasn't. Man. No, I'm fucking not Just let me get away with it. Just let me get away with it. But, um, this nigga did a so, silent L. <laughs> 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 but with, let me ask you, man, because as soon as I, um, you know, uh, pulled you up. The, one of the craziest things on the internet about you is your feet, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. are on your feet. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. Know you gonna get a foot deal? I swear to God. You said a what? A foot deal? A like, foot deal? You, you, you ever seen Seinfeld? Where um, he became a hair model? Oh, okay. I feel like for some reason I have been getting like make this ton, tons of offers from like people to do foot products and, sketches? and uh, oh, like sketch. No, <laughs> <laughs> Snoop. Shout out to Snoop. He doing Skechers. Okay, but like more like moisturizing cream. And, and things right. that'll lock the moisture in because I really don't have bad feet. They just right. dry. Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, but I've been ready? working on it though. Like <laughs> honestly, misunderstood. Like a lot, yeah, like a lot of people, they don't take that type of criticism and, right. and, and do anything about it. Like right. me, I've been lotioning my feet every day. <laughs> I, been, I, I went and got a, a pedicure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get it right. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Special noise of ways, man. Yo. <laughs> I, I um I feel like I feel like you're one of the people that's you always feel good energy. Yeah. Like, and to me, you know, in, in this game of hip hop, you know, so many people, they get bitter, you know, after a while, whether they successful or not. Or, and I just feel like you always has good energy. Yeah. How do you develop that type of uh, um, aura? Um, you kind of just got to take everything and, and roll with it. And I just reached certain points in my life where like looking cool isn't the, the, the object, you know, I just love to make music. I love to take care of my family. I love to entertain my fans. And as long as I'm doing that, I'm pretty happy. I don't, uh, the other stuff, it doesn't really bother me because right. that's not my, that's not what I wake up and do this for. Right. Yeah. Yup. And then like the bitterness, I think that comes with like bad relationships or things right. when you take it personal. Right. And there's a lot that 
goes on in this industry that could make you bitter, right. but you have a choice whether you want to react mm -hmm. to it or not. So I just don't let that type of stuff phase me, right. man. I just base my relationships off of different things, right. and that's how I'm able to move. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. You got a collaboration with a porn star? Yeah, yeah. Mia Khalifa, man. Like, one of the biggest... She's an ex-porn star, actually. Okay, my bad. Yeah, so she came into the game. That's kind of like how people notice her. Uh-huh. But uh, she's been able to pivot and do a lot of other things. I think she still has an OnlyFans, though. Right. Like, uh, but I don't know if it's so like straight hardcore song? shit. Nah, she doing, uh, we doing Bug, Khalifa right? Kush together. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so me having the Khalifa Kush brand, shout out to Burner. I built this uh, this whole brand with him. Yes. It took us 10 years, and now we've been all over the United States. We're going overseas. Right. And um, we're, 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 uh, branching out and we're doing celebrity uh, endorsement deals as well. She's the uh -huh. first one. And that's under Khalifa Kush and that Khalifa Kush is under Cookies? No, nah, Khalifa Kush is its own brand. Right. So brand. Yeah, yeah, but we come from the same cloth though, okay. like the same cuts that Burner gets his trees right. from. Okay. That's the same, you know, oh, tender wow. and care that we put into the Khalifa well, Kush well. product. So anything that comes out under Khalifa Kush, whether it's me, Mia Khalifa, or any other artist that we uh, endorse at the time, it's going to be a really, really, uh, you know, up to brand product so um is uh but bouncing around a little bit um i remember the, like i think the first time i heard ty dollar signs was was with you yeah is, is ty dollar signs still with um taylor game yeah ty is always gonna be taylor game right. uh we started out managing him wow a lot of people don't know that taylor gang is a label and a management company wow. so uh a lot of those first moves that you were seeing in his career were from you know me and will managing his career and mm -hmm. putting him on tour and you know just getting him out there like basically using the same stuff right. that we were able to 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 accumulate, but right. he was already there as well. He already knew a lot of radio people, already knew a lot of writers and producers. It just took a little extra push. And um, just having the platform that I had, we were able to use that through Taylor Gang. And, um, you know, Ty's a legend. He was always meant to be yeah. who he is. And uh, we were just able to, you know, push it a little bit faster. Right. Let me. So let me ask you, right, because you know, coming from Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. And then every, every uh, the, the, the known uh, city is Philly. It's Philly. Yeah. How was it harder for you for being from Pittsburgh? And how was it? Did you have to navigate because, like, I know, like, uh, like, like you know, people from, you know, uh, uh, um, sometimes they have to go to, to to New York. Yeah, was it something like like that? You had to skip over Philadelphia and go to New York. Were there or? anybody, you, any legends you looked up to that were that came out before? Yeah, I mean, it's a long story that, about that Pittsburgh because we were really influential in the, uh, the early '90s. West Coast sound with like Sam Sneed and like mm. uh, Mailman and, and right. those are people who work really close with Suge and Dre and Snoop and like really mm. pioneered that sound but they just weren't in front of everybody it's clean so we always had like a, yeah it is that's mm. good stuff mm -hmm. so we always had like a direction that we wanted to go in we just never had anybody to like wave that flag for us right. and um, just being from PA in general I think it's really difficult for a lot of artists even from Philly mm. um you know, to get noticed or to get looked at and be like, this, these guys are original or have right. their own sound. And I think anywhere, you have to really leave and become bigger somewhere else for right. your city to kind of look at you as somebody. Right. I feel like even if you're in New York, like right. nobody's going to call you your rap name. They're right. going to call you who they know you from the block. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you have to make yourself somebody and then come back home. Right. Right. And it was the same thing with Pittsburgh. It was it was a lot of grinding right. and um, being a teenager, being some somebody who was just trying to find myself as a young adult right. and, uh, you know, make music that was appropriate to who I was and, right. and that translated to other people that were doing different things. It took a minute, you know what right. I'm saying? But um, it was worth it. Um, and I love Pittsburgh. Right. There's yeah. a lot of dope artists out there. Man, it's a crazy artists. scene. Underground scene's crazy out there. From the beginning all the right. way till now, like, we have a lot of talent out there when it comes to... Uh, Producers, musicians, artists, yeah. cameramen, designers. It's such an artistic city, bro. But you don't miss the winners. No, nah, I don't. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> what was it from the moment, like, because to me, you're a rock star, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, 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 I mean, you transitioned just being a hip hop artist, just being a stoner. Like, you're, you're, if not, I think you are already a, you're, you're you're a superstar, right? Uh -huh. But it started from being a rock star. At what point did you see yourself transition and um um 
hip hop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Being, I don't want to say you're bigger than hip hop, but, you know, like feeling like my audience isn't just hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I feel like I have my own, like, subculture of hip hop. It's like alternative right. rap. Right. Where it's rap, but it's not like hardcore shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of right. people like to say crossover or mainstream, but that was always my goal to make big songs. You know, I never wanted to just be underground or just be a nigga who was just known around the way. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted to appeal to worldwide crowds and that's how I write my music. That's how I structure it. Mm. And just, you know, my knowledge about music, it goes beyond just hip hop. Right. And that's why it translates the way that it does. But uh, I think for me, it's more just the attitude right. than anything because you have to have the knowledge and you have to understand music and how to appeal to people and who you want to appeal to. Mm. But also you have to have a certain way about yourself that you present it and... Pretty much, I'll be, sometimes I'm the only one who cares about my opinion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, like, I don't give a fuck like, sometimes. Like, being you in the studio and you're the only one who, who likes this vibe and you still go with just it? Just in general, about oh. how I want to dress, about right. how just I want to talk, right. about, yeah, just being different, just how I live my life. Right. Like, I'm the only one who agrees with me a right. lot of the times, but that's, I feel like that's the rock star energy is just not giving a fuck and doing right. what you want to do and presenting that to people and making people love you for who you are. Right. And I do it in a, a safe way. I'm not right. Dangerous. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not trying to hurt myself. Right. So, you know, I always just conducted myself with this confidence right. and this care for myself. Right. Yeah. Was, was yeah. the first deal you had with Warner? Yeah, the first deal I, I had was with Warner. I was the rep and I was we he actually was a young guy yeah, seen in the street team. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we worked and you feel that <laughs> it felt in the beginning, if I remember correctly, and yeah. I might, you know, might not, but it felt like in the beginning Warner didn't know how to how to work your record. How to market them? Yeah. At that okay. time, the music business was really like just they they didn't know what to do. I think like Lil Scrappy was the biggest artist at Warner at yeah. that time, and that's because Trillville was popping mm -hmm. off and. Mm -hmm. They had J-Rock, you know what I mean? Yep. And Kendrick was under J-Rock. Right. So they didn't mm -hmm. know what was going on with who or who was going to be where in 10 years. You dig what I'm saying? And it was up to us as the artists to like pave that way for them. And yeah, you're right. They didn't know what to do with me, but I had a song that like appealed to the radio. Um, it was called Say Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was over Alice DJ sample. Yep. And they never heard nothing like that at that time. They were like, who's this kid, you know, mixing like, you know, rap with techno. Like they never right. heard that. So they put of course they put me in the studio and try to make get me to make 30 songs like that. Right. But I'm talking about smoking weed and riding around with my homeboys and hanging with girls and they're like, what the fuck is this? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Where's right. the techno at? <laughs> <laughs> so so it didn't work out. Cause it felt like because going back to that blog era, yeah. It felt like the traditional marketing style that was being done from the majors wasn't working and right. it felt like you and and that whole generation yeah. found your own lane Absolutely. on your own and, yeah. and you made it work. Yeah, it was just more going on than what the labels were like right. showing people. You know, they were just trying to polish it and kind of get uh the best of that, but they weren't trying to get everything that was put into that to get right. to that point. And that's what I was showing everybody. Right. Man, Do yep. you think artists even need labels at this point? Hell no. Oh, right? Nah, yeah. if you're yeah, an artist... Gonna, I think you're going to say, hell yeah. Nah, <laughs> if you're an artist, you are your own label. Yeah. Like, you're... Because your... you know you know what's crazy about... Like, I, I, obviously, I come before you, but your generation still, people will get discovered, yeah. right? This generation is already building their fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They already have a fan base. Yeah. If they have 5,000 yeah. spins, it might be 5,000 different people. They're already yeah. building their fan base. So I always wonder... And but then you you'll see um our artists, you know, get some popularity and then they'll still go and they'll sign. Yeah. Why do you think it is that? There are good labels out there. Yeah, they are. Um that take care of their artists, that nurture their artists, that, you know, promote them and right. you know, make them a priority. Right. But that's just a certain game that you have to play. And if you right. don't want to play that game, you don't have to. Right. And I think a lot of the artists sign because they don't know what they're signing up for. Right. I think you should be fully aware of what you're getting yourself into and then sign the paperwork. Like, right. don't sign it thinking that you're going to get a Rolls Royce and right. you're going to fly private right. and, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what you get into it for. It's a career. Right. It's like signing to a basketball team. So you have to put in work and right. you have to do other things along with that to make it freaking lucrative. You know what right. I mean? Right. So it's like, it's all a part of what game you want to play. But to succeed, no, nah, you don't need that. All right. No. Nah. Like like right now, um, me and EFN is uh, opening a distribution for podcast. Mm -hmm. And our 
contracts are like two pages. It's not no complicated shit. Right. right. It's like it's, if you want to be here, you be with us. Right. You don't want to be there. I feel like record labels, if you sign to a label, it should be that, should be that too. simple. It shouldn't be that complicated. It nah, should be it should be, especially with all the niggas who's going to jail these days. Oh, and okay. the niggas on drugs. So you gotta have life insurance for okay. a nigga. Okay. You're making an investment. So like, right. you know what I'm saying? You got a lot, it's like it's like a car, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but like, even the car is not a lifetime tr- contract. Like, but you, yeah, like, there's there's people who have life, yeah, in perpetuity time, in the in universe. Perpetuity. Like 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 I'm yeah. sorry to sound like the old like, nigga, really but when we there. but yeah. when we signed, there was no digital in my contract. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. that shit never existed. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But so it did because yeah. of in the universe. They said the universe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. But what is it called? Perpe- in per- perpetuity. perpetuity. I didn't know what That's perpetuity you meant back then. It's still in the contract. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean at the end of the day, like you just got to know what you signed them up for, like. Like you can own certain shit and then you can break bread on certain right. shit for a certain amount of time as well. You just work right. it out into your favor. Right. And then just like you said, these days it's more dependent on the artist. So the more you walk in there with, if you have a fan base and things right. like that, the more leverage, more leverage. you have right. Right. to say, you know, this is what I want to do for how long. So that's my advice for anybody is to just build up your leverage. So when you do actually, you know, start taking those meetings or considering it, you know, you, you're, you're in a good place. And so you can level up, take advantage sure, of the man. machine. Yeah, no, nah, no doubt. Thank you, brother. <laughs> do, do, do you know you're a legend? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Smoke I love some uka to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what All we right. smoke right You know, that's that's your butt in there. Oh, Khalifa it tastes Khalifa. amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like, like I'm in Dubai. Tastes rosy. <laughs> tastes like flowers. Mm. Oh my marijuana. God, Mr. Lee! What? Mr. Lee! What? This is oh my God. This is good weed. You know, what show are you at? Heated, heated to a temperature that turns it from not not into smoke but into vapor. So it's not smoke. It's not harsh. It's not bothering you. It's just vapor. That's right. God Very damn. smooth. Oh, yeah. Uka, we got all type of commercials out. This motherfucker They're killing it. This thing is dope. Look at y'all. This technology y'all. right here. Mm. Yeah. yeah, this ain't no coal. Now, so you, you, you can uh, adjust. Uh, oh, so you can get you can, more. Uh, wait, wait, we we can adjust. What, yeah, what, what does that do? <laughs> Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah, sure. Mine's ain't going. I got lotion on my hands. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh okay. So it's got to be on the. Yeah, I see the different modes. Oh, wow, so, damn. So it's different modes. Oh, oh shit. It's different mode. Yeah. Can you, hold on. More smoke. Hold on. Oh, is yeah. this one? Is this one off? Help him out, Diego, help him out. It's, 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 it's the triple. The, the third one? Diego, the third Diego, one Diego, is the one. The oh, come, come in, come through. Yes. All right. Three, three, yes. All right. So, right. right. Let's get it. Like, he's from the company right here. I got it. I, I found it. Yep. So three is the hardest. That's the one? Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn that bitch off. No. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to finish the interview? <laughs> yeah. What, what, three is the hardest? Yeah, the three. So you yep. can get more smoke. All right, man. You got the cartridges? So so we can show me over here. Show them the cartridges. That's official. But Wiz, we want you I'm to know. I'm just gonna take this with me, okay? Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. Absolutely. absolutely. Wiz, we want you to know our show is about giving people their flowers while they live. We want to literally give you your flowers face to face. Thank you. These are flowers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snoop said it's like a Grammy. You know, because it's so much, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's, sick. Sick. it's sick. beautiful. Yes. Make sure you go to the point. Look at this. is going. Now, exactly where I'm gonna put that. Now, now another thing about how hearing your music, I've been I was running through it. Um, you be mentioning watches a lot, man. Yeah, you a watch guy? Yeah, I I, I was. You was? Yes. Yeah, I, I slowed down since I had a kid. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I had a, I hadn't bought a watch in a minute. Actually, Burner bought me this watch. This was a wow. gift, man. He just popped up at my house one day. He was wow. like. You know, thanks for being a good friend. Yeah. Mm. You've been a real good friend. That's fine. He's like, you, 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 you walked into my life at a real important time. He was like, I just want to show you how much I appreciate you. And he oh. gave me a bust down. God damn it, bro. Gotta make Shout out to Burner, man. Shout out to B, man. Shout out to B. I got to upgrade my friends, man. Y'all niggas got to step it up. Boy on the cover of Forbes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he that. That's big. a good friend. I'm fucking around. Fucking around. <laughs> Shout out to Burner. He got that with the 420 box. And yeah. the first thing that pops up is yeah. the drink champs. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. See, oh, Burner be showing love. He got the screen. Yeah, 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 got the screen. We're going to the lake house, B. I'll yeah. see you in a second, brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, ever, you ever thought, I know this is like kind of a cliche, but, you know, uh, back then, people would be locked up for... 
touching yeah. any type of bud. Like totally. I, I remember one time in, in my hood, I threw the, the the joint away. The shit blew away, and the police still arrested me. For, yeah. He said, I saw you smoking. I yeah. was like, there was no evidence. I mean, yeah. like. It, this is fucked up, and now in New York City, yeah. you can smoke right in front of the police. Yep. You ever thought this day would happen? No, I didn't. I uh, mean, I mean, actually, <laughs> that's crazy. I, I I did, but I didn't think it was reality. Like I thought right. I was just thinking some crazy shit. Like you thought Amsterdam would just be Amsterdam, and that's it. I mean, even over there, you had to go in the smoke shops. That's like you true. couldn't just smoke on the street. Like right. that's true. Nigga, that shit is recreational. Like you can just smoke, but and they're removing Walk it from uh, piss tests. Yep. They're not drug testing people Word. for marijuana. They, they 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 let they left it out of the NBA. Yep. They do it for like uh, for parole. probation or parole. Yeah, parole. Like yeah. what the hell? You know how many yeah. people like smoke a little weed and end yeah. up going back to jail? All right, man, that's amazing. There's bro. a lot of motherfuckers that don't need to smoke some weed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just smoke a little. Just yeah. smoke a little bud. You deserve to smoke be on the hookah. streets. You don't Get need your to be life on, together. You don't need to be in jail because of weed. In your life. I'm very happy about that, yeah. and uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to benefit from it. Right. Um. Now. You said that you, you, you're you overseas uh, with the Khalifa Kush. Yes. So we're in Amsterdam now? Or you've been in Amsterdam? Uh, we're in Amsterdam. We're going to Thailand. We're mm. going Thailand. to Germany. Okay. Yeah, those are a few places. The UK. You know what part of Germany? No, nah, just the whole country, dog. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. just Germany. Right. Dusseldorf, my friend. Yeah, Ger German, <laughs> German weed, bro. It's like saying Dusseldorf. And we doing mushrooms over there, too. Doing mushrooms. Yeah, he wants to bring you some mushrooms. You got the psychedelic you got mushrooms yeah. over here. You got some chocolates? All right, let's get it. Well, felt, off camera, because, yeah, you know. Yeah, I felt like... <laughs> Those are crazy. Where the fuck did you get them from? That's, 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 uh, that's Eric's thing? Uh, bro, yeah, it's a homie that's I had some here. of them at Coachella one time. I was just laying down on the ground, bro. I'm going to do champagne. Yeah, relax, boys. I don't want you to lay down on the ground right now. No, that's Fuck why it. we all just, just that's why you just lay down and do the podcast, that, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like that's Marvin Gaye, bro. He had my friend fucked up. <laughs> he had my friend fucked up the one day. Did, yeah. he, did he take a, oh, a big piece like that or no? When Twin was talking about yeah, the Royce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, them shits will have you fucked up mm. right there. Mm. Yes, there's a whole ape in there. That's a, that's an ape. He's stubborn too. He's stubborn. That's an ape. Whoa. It's not an ape? He pulls a seven or like an eight. Point seven, eight. Point eight. Yes, oh, point eight. Point eight. Okay, okay, okay. The one I had had a three. Yeah. Yeah. The one I had was was a whole eighth and just that little ass chocolate. Uh, yeah, I felt like I was on a roller coaster. <laughs> All right, he he's your real friend or, or your brother, like whatever yeah, he's, he's it is. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. He likes you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> remember, remember I, felt, I felt peer pressure with Mike Tyson. It was just gave it to well, I, me too. I don't do none of this shit. He ain't eat you better eat the shallow <laughs> shit. He gave you all shrooms? <laughs> yeah, he gave us the chocolate. Listen, he put I love Mike Tyson, listen, but I can't see, eat shrooms yeah. raw like that. Pause. No, like, no, can't do no, 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 he gave us no, no, the chocolate, no, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate bar. bar. He gave us the chocolate ones. But it was a but, live podcast in front of an audience. But by the way, he wasn't aggressive at all, but in my mind, he was like, hey, yeah. And I was like, all right. I felt it was aggressive. He's like, you better eat this shit. Stop that bitch. It's Mike Tyson, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's Mike Tyson. You never know. Was, was this your first time meeting Mike Tyson when nah. you just did a show? Nah, right, nah. Cool. I met him before. So, um, and you, you met, you met Stoner Tyson because there's a different version where he didn't get stoned. And he nah, was, I did. I did. I met him when he wasn't getting stoned, but he was always nice to me. Though. Okay. He's yeah, nah, good, he's a cool dude. He's a cool yeah. dude. Yeah. Like, but this is the, this is the coolest just, version of Mike. He just seems like one of them dudes. Like, don't fuck with him, type yeah. dudes. You know, yeah, what yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. play like, with Mike. Don't play yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? All that yeah. playing around and shit. Like, some niggas don't like that shit. I remember it was funny as hell. EFN gave him a smoke champs joint. <laughs> he took the smoke champs joint out. He gave it back to him. And you held it. I was like, he loves weed. <laughs> oh, we after the pod, after his pod. Yes, after the pod. He was mad aggressive there. Yeah, he's aggressive. He loves weed. He's all about that weed. And you didn't you also just play um, George Clinton? Sure so, did. Where, where'd you play it back? What? Uh, it's this movie called Spinning Gold. It just came out. It's in theaters. Okay. It's about the story of Casablanca Records. Wow. Uh, Neil and all of the homies who started up this record label that hosted a bunch of legendary acts. Kiss, the Isley Brothers, uh, Funkadelic, Parliament, uh, Freaking Donna Summer, uh -huh. Village People, like they just had the disco era on lock, right. and um, yeah, it just kind of describes their whole story and their rise, and you know, uh, in the music industry and what effect they had, and the stories that go along with that. that. And I played George Clinton. That's fucking that's yeah, incredible. it was cool as hell. His, his, his grandkids was on the uh, on, on the, the set, set, yeah, with us. They were actually in the band, so it was really cool, man. It was it was like you, 
you, you guys have met meet George. Yeah, I'm, fuck okay. yeah, hell yeah, we smoked Halloween. He was here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right before I met him in person, he was like, yeah, I was just down there, blah blah blah. His grandkids, his grandkids were here. That yeah. nigga smokes Halloween. Oh yeah, you know? he went in. <laughs> he went in. <laughs> you know, no, I thought it was a joke because there's like, I, you know, we you, we don't want to make the older guys drink and shit. So we be like, okay, he's right. smoking. All right, cool. Oh, he kept going. Yeah, yeah, he kept yeah. Going. Well, I performed with him too at the premiere. That shit was cool what? as hell. Yeah, it was it was dope to rock with his band. Like. I'm like a real music nerd, so just to see him conducting his band and hear, excuse me, and hearing everybody like doing what they was doing, it was really tight. It was really inspirational. What, what's 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 an artist that you didn't have to work with that you would love to work with? That's Jay-Z. still alive. Jay-Z, mm. Yeah, yeah. I haven't worked with Hove yet, and he smokes weed now too, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. I want to work with Hove, man. Yeah, that'll be fun. I want to work. I think with we Hove. should make some noise for that. I think we should. Make some noise for that. Need to get hold of stone, man. <laughs> y'all, y'all ready for quick time? Oh, we got time? quick time ready. Yeah. Yeah. You want to explain the um rules? Yeah, we give you two names, places, or things. You pick one, or if you pick neither or both, we we drinking or smoking. Or, okay. Uh, you could take a shot, I guess, of the uka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, before we start that, did you invent cush ups? <clears throat> no, I didn't. Okay. So I didn't. So like like the game of ping um bear pong. What is the legendary story of cush-ups? Cush-ups is you take 10 puffs and you hold it in until you can't, until you, you know, yeah. Can you do cush-ups? If you, if you, can, if you can achieve 10, if you can Try. achieve 10, then that's like the, you know, the respective number of cush-ups. So if you don't make it to 10, then you tap out and you still need to work on your lungs. You need to get your cush-ups together. You need to get it, need to get it together. Yeah. yeah. Build hey, bro, I've seen some of the best folds, so it's all good, man. Don't even worry about it. Don't even trip. It takes practice. Yes. Adapt? I fuck with dabs. I smoke, you know, I... It's whatever, bro. Bongs, papers, Good. bowls. I just don't hit blunts. That's the only thing. Right. Yeah, it's the famous, it's the famous, the famous footage of you kicking the dude out out of the um studio. He was in the yeah. studio yeah. session. Yeah. I was like, damn, Wiz is racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he racist gotta, against the blunts. You gotta, you gotta stand on something these days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was terrible. We were in a studio, like it was like a right. dense area. He was just like I'm blowing a grape swisher over. <laughs> <laughs> so get this guy out of here, here bro. Yeah, I asked, I offered him a joint. He didn't want it, so I was just get out. No, I, I'm not gonna lie to you today. It was it was almost like God sent because I woke up this morning. I had no switches. And all I had was 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 papers, and I was like, "Look Boom. at God, look at look at fucking Wiz is God working on me." Yeah. <laughs> and then it was crazy. Before I asked for the blunts, I just started rolling joints. The problem is with me, I suck at rolling joints. I can't. They got roll. cones. I suck even more at that. I go, oh, it's just a cone. I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm gonna show you a picture of what I did this morning. I had a whole shit pregnant. Like it was, it was like yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I can't do. It. I guess all I right. got a great grinder. But how'd you learn how to roll a blunt? Uh, being in the hood, yeah, Man. drinking milk and cookies, Man, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, but he be rolled my blunts though, yeah, yeah, he rolled my blunts, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, okay, makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna be ready for a quick time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna do. I actually gonna do. Sonny's not here, right? Oh, Sonny's here. You want to drink from too? I'm gonna do Japanese. Though. You want to take shots for him? To be the ringer? Oh yeah, he is ready. He's got lemons yeah. fucking around the rim of the glass. Fuck, Sonny. <laughs> Sonny, you, he'll smoke, but you'll drink a shot. Yeah, and yeah, be the yeah, ringer. Yeah. Smoke a little whiz joint. Now, wait, before we start this. Oh, I should have brought the Didn't you oh. guys? Oh, shit. It's, it's filled already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's, I should have brought that's... the THC Mama Juana. They have one. Oh. A damn. Didn't you guys have a collab with Raw? Or... Yeah, yeah, I fuck with Raw. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, Raw has been the, the premier joint. <laughs> and just our cho- our joint of choice, right. probably since we started smoking them. Like me and Spitta, we crossed over the joints currency. around the yeah currency around the same time. Him before me, mm. but you know I made it in time to you know create the law with him. Right, and uh, we went through a couple different types of joints. There was zigzags. There was easy wires. There was a uh, Randy's. They had like these little wire in them, and you could like smoke it like that. Uh, yeah, Juicy J's. And then Elements, we liked Elements, and then we found out that Element and Raw was of the same company, but we just liked Raw a little bit better. And then that's what we started running with, the unbleached, you know, 
uh, the raw paper dips. Was it unbleached? What does that mean? They, it's paper, but it's not bleached. Yeah, a lot of papers. No chemical. Ooh, yeah, there's no chemicals. A lot of papers are like bleached and have different chemicals and stuff like that that you're smoking on. And yeah, you're might as well be smoking a blunt. <sighs> So when you, some of y'all drinks about to come out. We caught. Uh, come out. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the, beat, the beady smokers, hold up. Yeah. The beady? Or the vegan papers? Vegan. Yeah. You a vegan, got, yo? No, I'm not a vegan. Bar. No, 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 I'm not. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, raw papers. But we got Khalifa papers coming yes, out. Yes, that's what we were talking about. That's, that's what really, you have, really right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything I, I enjoy, I just spin it into my own lifestyle. As you should. You know? So you, you you want to talk about your liquor company? Cause we, we yeah, McQueen. McQueen is a it's a gin. You know anybody who who followed me early in my career? I used to drink a shit ton of gin, <laughs> and uh, we we drank Bombay, but that really wasn't that good. Right. So we designed something that was based off of a better taste, still the same great gin feel, uh, but it's really smooth. Like a lot of people who drink gin, they don't like the flavor of it, but this one's smooth. It mixes well. And uh, we have an infused one that just came out too. It's called uh, Ultraviolet. This is that the is, blue one? That yeah, it was, me about it. Uh, it's purple, purple yeah. Purple, so this purple, the, yeah. The, the, the full name of it is McQueen Violet Fog. And the purple one is ultraviolet. But we're in the same family as uh, Douce, yeah. uh, uh, Bel Air, yeah. uh, Bamboo, Vion. Those are a couple of our other companies. We just keep making other little brands and so, blowing them things up. You know the what bottles I mean? hella nice. Yeah, hell yeah. It's, it's a good gin. We taking over. Nice. So you're not taking shots, though? No, absolutely okay. not. <laughs> nah, I'll let y'all okay. have that. You know well, what I'm uh, saying? All right, look, is it true before we go into that? Uh, currency? Put you on the Rockin' Jordans? Yeah, I had never even owned a pair of Jordans before I met Currency. I never had one pair of J's before. I wanted some, but I just never had. What were you wearing before? Chucks. That's I was gonna say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, in Pittsburgh, like it's Air Forces, Tims. Niggas wore J's, but like I, I had to choose like if I was gonna spend that much money on sneakers or other That's things. Really so it's like you know, just growing up, that was just I, I never even thought about that. Like spending a hundred. 30 or 50 bucks on a pair of shoes. Like, right. I would go to Army Navy and get some Dickies and get some white tees and Car some Hart. Some, you know, Carhartt, Carhartt like a motherfucker. Okay. Like, that was my whole style. So, like, yeah. So, I mean, but Tim's cost a lot, but you get like one pair of them a year. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for real, for real. Not in New York. Yeah. In New York, we. Be like six pair a year. Well, I was a kid. Yeah. I was, yeah. A, I was okay. a fucking Come on, child. I was a kid. You was. Okay, yeah. Look, yeah. I mean, all right, two pair a year. Yeah, like we, it's it's religion in in, in New York. Right? Yeah, I feel you. Like, and it's crazy because you got to get the right ones. Don't get the ones. Nah, without you got to get the leathers. <laughs> yeah, the, get, the, the double you, like the yeah. soles got to be right on there and everything. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. we it's call a, them butters in Pittsburgh. It's a science to this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, no. But we we mainly wore like forces and shit like that. But yeah, currency put me on to to, to sneakers and cars and just like streetwear fashion in general. Like you know what I'm saying? Just I always had good taste. Like right. you know what I mean? But right. just like knowing what to get, like right. that's fire. Yeah, he put me in the right direction. Thanks for so much sure. for currency. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Need you back, currency. Hang on. You ready to rock? All right. All right. Cool. I wanted to make sure I wanted to kill her. Jamie tried to kill me the other day. You, you, you taking shots, right? I'm gonna I'm take some. Oh, yeah, join me. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna join you. <laughs> well, if Wiz ain't going, I'm, that's good. That's good. It's a Get great, drunk, great, y'all. Great, great guest. Drink chance. Right, cool. That's right. <laughs> damn, damn. He got a point. I'm gonna smoke anyway. Come on, let's go. Yeah. You ready? Uh huh. First one, Tupac or DMX? X. Ooh. You got it. You got a reason why? Or Do I have a reason you why? You don't have to. We could just you can explain. You don't, you don't have, have to explain. To. Oh, um, both great actors, both great, like a lot of passion, both poets. But I think for me, I, I went and bought X's first single, like, I got get at me dog with right. stop being greedy on the other side. I bought the tape. Uh -huh. So like it just means that black more. And white video, yeah, that video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. You, you said tape? Yeah, yep. Gotta make some noise for you, sir. Yeah, yeah so it just man, it's that it needs a little bit more. That, yeah. that man just said he bought DMX tape. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Okay, you wanna go to the next one? Yes. Yeah. Snoop or currency? Damn! No, you can say both. You can say both. And that's when we drink. And that's when we drink. If you say drink. both or neither, we drink it. Both. Y'all got to drink you gotta on that. you got to take five. You got to take, take five hits. Take yeah. a shot, Sonny. Two. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Three. Yeah. What do you you got to do push-ups. Yeah. With that, okay. It's, it's different because it's paper. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I look below. <laughs> I, oh, shit. Make some noise for Wiz, goddamn. <laughs> that that oh, hook is working. <laughs> shit. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Okay. Don't, don't do that again. I got uh, it on. Okay, I got it on two. Shit. Hold on. I got to go back to one. <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> Wow! All right, cool. Yeah, three of those. That's hitting. That's hitting. All right, let's go. Yeah. Be real or burner? Fuck. Shots? Yeah, solo. Both. Salud. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Ooh, ooh. Let's make some noise for heavy. <laughs> All right, I'm in the game now. Got that Uga's lit, baby. That Uga's going in. That, that Uga's going, baby. I'm about right. to write a song in this bitch. Right. <laughs> you got it? Oh, no. Uh, damn, I'm lost. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm a Uga'd out. Uh, I got you. I got you. Kiss or Styles? Um, fuck. I ain't going to disrespect none of them. <laughs> Both. Yeah. Salute. One. You should go for six. Make it even. Two. Three, four. That shit getting me high, and I ain't even smoking it. Five. Oh, oh. Dios mío. Six. Oh, you oh, just gonna God. keep going. Oh, damn. Seven. Damn. <laughs> it's a long game. It's a long game. Eight. <laughs> yeah. Nine. I'm setting the standard. I'm yes, yes, the standard. yes. We got the bar. We got the bar. We got the bar. What's on you? Ten. All right. Yes, yes. Oh, by the way, right, set the tone. Forget. Big. Let's big up the Uka. Yeah. And this is the 420 edition. Yeah. The bar's yeah. been set. Yes, yes. The bar's being set. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Well, yeah. We're, we're, don't call it the gun. We call it the machine. Yeah, relax. Yeah, call bro, the machine. Don't... Get the machine out. Like the like the like the area. No off. guns on premise. Yeah, no guns, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> Anybody want to join? Yeah, the machine. All right, all right. <laughs> well, wait, wait till the next one. Till you if said, I have to. Okay. Okay. And, okay cool. And that joins you. What y'all putting in there? Y'all putting KK in there? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. do. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm see if you peeped his face when he said, "You got KK in there." He looked up like, "You got some." <laughs> we good, baby. You ain't see his face though. We good, his baby. Face was so excited, like, oh, look ahead. Oh, um, right. Red Man or Method Man? Oh fuck! All right. I, this is no disrespect. This is we draw line. I don't like break, breaking groups up, but Meth for me. Okay. Because of his voice. Okay. Red got bars. Meth got bars. Both funny as hell. Both got great timing. Right. But Meth's voice is crazy. Oh, their stage presence too. Yeah. Them oh, on their stage, stage presence. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Like, best ever. But Meth's voice is a little bit iller. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Just I an love opinion. how his, all his answers is pure hip hop yeah. answers. No, I ain't yeah, gonna lie. I'm bad yeah. I know music, bro. No, I know. I know yeah, that. I know. Yeah, Trust yeah, me. Yeah. I know. I you know. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no. I'm just saying, I'm more, embra- I'm yeah. more even more. When I expect it, I'm even more like, how was that shit Hell called? Yeah. You, blow, you blow on my mind. Thank you, man. Yes. Appreciate it. I love, I love, I love. Yeah, you gotta do the knowledge, yeah, kid. I, yeah, I love, I love when people know. Okay, yeah, okay. All right. Cali or drama? Drama. Okay. Love drama, bro. I love Khaled too. Khaled's a great person. You had a gangster grills? I did. Twenty eight grams. Right. Okay. Broke the internet. All that drama. He's he's just like a pioneer just for the the mixtapes, and he got like I feel like he got. I think Khaled's like a official ass DJ, but drama got more mixtapes. Like, oh yeah, you no, know what drama's I mean? a mixtape legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what he's doing right now with those juice skits yeah, for his album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I love that. I love, I love that. The, the movie? Yeah. Oh my I think, god. I think I'm to jealous. me personally, drama gets that one. Yeah, but I, yeah, for yeah, sure. I say uh, DJ wise, but I feel like overall producer, I feel like Khaled might have that edge just or, as, as a producer. Like I think, I think as a yeah. producer, Khaled is better than a lot of fools. Yeah, he's right. got a great he ear. He got an ear. He got an ear. He knows how to put that shit together. And he doesn't mind going after a record, bro. Right. I, that oh, no. nigga he get on a fucking he'll go private anywhere, jet. Everywhere. He'll, yeah, he'll go. Yeah, at, yeah. And that's he what no it takes. Shame with, yeah, that's what that's it takes. Because yeah, yeah. some niggas will give up or they'll be like, oh, I'm going to wait, like, right. you know, three, four days. He's like, nah, oh, fool, man. let me get that verse. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I respect the hell out and of that. And he's always been like that because, you uh-huh. know, we Miami yeah. cats. And I, he's been like that yeah. since the beginning. That's dope. That's what yeah. it takes, bro, for sure. All right. Cheech or Chong? I got to do both. That's a good one. 
Have yeah. you met them? Yeah, yep. Hell That's yeah. dope. All right, cheers. You drink it up, Sonny. What you doing? Come on, you on board? Oh, yeah, 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 take the shot. We should have been taking the rum. That's Okay, then take the mm. hookah. <laughs> How many is that, Wiz? I'm doing five now. You're doing five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's acceptable payment. Yes, sir. All right, we already know what you're going to say to this. Sir, yes. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Let's, Let's see. get it. Cookies or gumbo? It's weed or like... Weed, weed, weed. Oh, okay. I never had gumbo before. Damn. Who makes gumbo? Gumbo? My friend Gumbo, man. <laughs> yeah, damn. Who's Gumbo? Yeah, it's a homie. It's a homie. Luca, Luca Bras. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm he a... Down with, he down with Burner, too. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm a yeah. weed snob, so yeah. I'm yeah. real bougie. Damn, I, I, I hit him, but he was on Ramadan. And he had, uh, to, uh, to bring some All here. right, well, He was you know, on Ramadan. I didn't want to like... Gumbo's yeah. on the list of things to try. Okay, that's right. Let's make sure yeah. you're going for Gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ty Dollar or Juicy? Damn it. Both. All right. Juicy J. I'm glad I'm not drinking because y'all would have had me lit. I'd have been smacked. Yeah. All right. Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock? Yeah. Dave Chappelle. Mm. He way funnier. Okay. Was that mean? No. <laughs> That's your opinion. Yeah. I mean, the last comment you made. <laughs> All right. Um, uka or hookah? Uka. Make sure you know uka. Hey. By the way, by the way, I don't know if you, you realize these are sexy. Like you know, the hookah shits be all you gotta burn. Yeah, this it. Like, oh, yeah, it could be on Star Wars sexy and shit. Yeah, man, this you, you can burn yourself. This is cool. It just need like a little yeah. light around it. You know what I mean? It need like a little. Oh, we about that's the next iteration. little neon, like a little light up, little LED dip. You know what I'm saying? Shorties will go crazy over that. Yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. yep. All right, Biggie or pun? Biggie or pun? A big pun, yeah. yeah. Damn. Well, I'm gonna have to go big. Okay. Yeah, y'all. But I fuck with pun though. Pun's hard. Yes. Any reason why you? Is there something big? He was just smoother. Like right. you know what I mean. Like he he talked about clothes and shit like that. Right. About shit like if I go shopping now, I'll just be seeing some shit that Biggie, Biggie said right, in the right. '90s. You know what I mean? Versace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like pun That's had why. bars, but he didn't have bars like that though. Like you know what I mean? He was Different more talking bar, about like yeah. breaking niggas' backs in like <laughs> several places and shit like that. That was cool too. <laughs> <laughs> Radio or podcast? Um, oh, you're talking about like, as far as radio, like listening to jams or like podcasts is just like... However you want, like what platform to you is yeah, better? What criteria you want? I'm going to go podcast. Okay, got yeah. that. Make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. ASAP Rocky or Big Sean? Damn. <laughs> Them was both my partners. Them was both my brothers. I love Big Sean. But I feel like I'm gonna have to go Rocky. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm gonna go Rocky because I don't look up to a lot of niggas when it comes to dressing, and Rocky can dress his ass off. All right. And Sean can dress too, right. but it's just like a different type. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. they don't really go against each other. Right. And Rocky, I'll, I'll be looking at his fits, and Rocky could really dress. So I'm gonna say Rocky. Shout out but to Sean's both. the Sean's the yeah. better rapper, in my opinion. Like, oh, okay. Sean's a better rapper than me. Sean's a better rapper than a lot of niggas that I know. Right. So, like, when we talking lyrics, I'm gonna say Sean. But as far as like the nigga, Rocky. Rocky's the nigga. Sounds like a shot to me. It sounded yeah. like he said both, yeah, but not really, like but sort of both. a kind of Because I love him. Like he like wanted to say both. In the smartest way brothers. ever. Yeah. We need to have a good conversation <laughs> yeah. about that. Like, people that. need to know, I like, like why. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take a shot for you anyway. All right, well, I'm going to hit the shot. And then both Drink Chance alumni, too. Yeah, yeah, both of them niggas. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see if it's the same with these. Yeah. Rick Ross or French Montana? Both big homies of mine, but I'm going to go Rosé, though. Okay. Uh, just because Rosé invited me to his crib in Atlanta and had a mountain of freaking weed that me and Currency could roll out of, he drove us around and bought us sneakers. It was like cool as hell, bro. It was like the Rick Ross 
Remember dream. Y'all shopping? Yeah, he just dream. Yeah, he just took us to the store. He's like, get, get whatever you want, little niggas. We was like, hell yeah. It's early on for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hip hop father. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. This, was, this wasn't awesome. last week. This was a while. And, yeah, and, like and Rose actually got me my, my deal with Brett for yeah, McQueen. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Brett. Shout out to Brett. Yeah, we got Brett on the show. Yeah, uh, Brett was asking him about like some people who would be good for branding and help build the company. And he was like, Wiz. He was like, I know that little nigga's about his business. He does his thing. He's actually out here in the field and he's going to promote. Like, he spoke really highly of me and still still does. So, and you know, French is my man. We went on tour together. We right. made money together. We got hits together. Rose. All right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Shout out to Rose. Good. Sour or Kush? Kush. Y'all are safe on down. that one. Y'all are safe. Y'all are safe. Calm down. Hold on, hold on. Y'all are safe. I don't like the way you just looked over sour like that. Oh, yeah, you did. You used to like sour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Everything great oh, was sour. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, why, why'd you? Sour's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Down on you right now. <laughs> no, we smoke sour, but when you mix sour with Kush and got headband, headband, yes, yes, it just made sour like even like better. All right, and you know and what President you OG, but that, that was um sour mixed with headband and um Kush. Presidential OG, you never okay. had that one? Yeah, nah. Okay. That sounds like two, two third, two. Yeah, yeah it's probably it. Like, yeah, whatever the yeah. fractions are. Yeah, but headband. More sour head, and kush. Headband was sour and kush, though, wasn't it? Yes, it was half and half. Yes. That shit was fire. Now, that was fire. Headband. But straight yes. sour, though? Hell no. So you got to realize, we come from where they invented the word loud. So when they invented the word loud, that I was... I don't know if loud was invented in, in, yeah, I don't know. in New York. I think, I think that's you, a Chicago you really term. No, that's a Chicago term. That's a Midwest term. That's a New York term. What year? I don't even... I what year? The culture. You got to relax. But I know what? that it didn't You, you got to mind your business. What year? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it was Chicago, bro. It, nah, I swear to God, I think it was New York. I, well, I'm a weed historian. Me, yeah. I don't think it was New York. I'm a word historian. All right. Word Orient? We'll ask E40. Exactly. E40 no more than all of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll ask E40. Yes, yes. E40 was crazy. He don't know East Coast terminology. He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows everything. I'm giving that one up to 40. We ain't going to argue about it. Back to the sound. Okay, sound. What about it? Yeah, sound. That's how we say it in Facebook. How do you just sound? He said sound. You say sound. Sound flash. But yeah, so you said. Uh -huh. What about it? To me, because sour, to me, sour comes from Canada. Okay. So there's no way it could have went, went to Chicago before it came to New York. Because you come from Canada, right to New York, boom. Then not, not the actual sour, the word. I was talking no, about the word loud. No. Oh, I was talking about the actual plant. The okay. actual plant comes from Canada. Okay. Canada, I yeah, believe yeah. Canada, Montreal, Vancouver okay. area. That makes and sense. And Toronto, then, okay. you know, comes from, to New York. So that's why New Yorkers, I believe we had it in abundance. Mm-hmm. So it was easier. And it, it was loud. Yeah. Because you couldn't, like, that was the first <laughs> weed you had to put in jars. Yeah. Remember, like, remember, oh, yeah. weed didn't come in jars before. Right, yeah. It's just so Fun loud. You the first put weed it in I jars. bought in a jar was some haze. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, that's the haze man right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen, listen. What do I know about weed? <laughs> <laughs> I bought some haze. And, and then out fun. here was some creepy. purple. Out here when it came, yeah, yeah, it, was it was creepy. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. it was creepy. It was haze's. Creepy is what? It was haze's cousin. Creepy. Yes, yeah, it wasn't haze quite cousin. haze. It yeah, was, yeah. It was, it was like yeah. fluffy like the, the haze, but it didn't stink like it, though. Creepy smelled amazing. Like Jada Kiss still, smoke, still, still to this day yeah. wants haze, Jada yeah. Kiss. Yeah. I'll be like, let it go. That pip, that pip, <laughs> that real pip will put you to sleep, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit oh, smells different. Shout out to Nick the Piff. Shout out to Nick the Piff. This is haze? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. This nigga just gave me some real pip. Mm. Oh my goodness, bro! Mr. Lee, you just went to uptown together. <laughs> That's crazy. That's you just pulled out some haze. That's what the yeah. fuck? I'm smoking yeah. this, bro. Yeah, bro there's no. <laughs> But shout Bruh, out to Wiz Because I'm going to be honest It don't even got no label on it That's how you know <laughs> Yo, listen. No, This I'll is be... real This is drug dealer weed right here <laughs> <laughs> Thug <laughs> weed right here This is thug <laughs> weed right here, nigga yeah. Yeah, yeah, this I'm is, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this in my I'm pocket. I'm bad impressed. Nobody holding this one for me. I got this one. I'm, 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 I'm holding on to this one. I'm bad impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad impressed. Good. All right. Ice Cube or Scarface? Ooh. Ah, uh, damn. I love Scarface as a lyricist, but I'm going to go cute because of what he did with movies. Like, you mm -hmm. know, Friday, just like, you know, pivoting yeah. and mm -hmm. just, you know, being a legend. But, uh... 
Uh, yeah, yeah, Cube. I ain't gonna draw that one out too cool. far. All right, half baked or Friday? Damn, half baked for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go half baked. Okay. Friday is a classic. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows Friday, but I think the story of half baked is just funny as hell. And Dave Chappelle like is one of my favorite comedians. So it's like yes, Cuban B. Yeah, I love oh, that part. God. That's, that's yeah. what I say. I'm Cuban, so I use that all the time. Bruh, that whole shit. Is and I'm from, I'm from Jamaica. What part of Jamaica? By the By beach. The beach. <laughs> 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 uh, Little Wayne or Drake? Wheezy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Drake is hard. You know, he got fucking more hits than anybody. Right. Yeah. But I think Wayne just sparked the whole culture for everybody. Like, and then like when he started as a hot boy Wayne, and then when he came back out, like lyricism Which, Wayne, Wayne before mixtape Wayne. Drake, he's like, yeah. put put on Drake. Yeah, yeah. Wayne's Wayne's up there for sure. Let's see here. Nipsey or Easy E? Nip. Rest in peace to both. Yeah, rest in peace to both. But I'm going to say Nip because that was my friend. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I was yeah, there. that was my homeboy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Eminem or Busta Rhymes? Busta Rhymes for sure. Uh, lyricism is up there, but, well, Busta wouldn't want to hear that. He'll be like, I'll kill that nigga. <laughs> But he'll say that with anybody. Like exactly. Which is what a real exactly. lyricist MC yeah, 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 yeah. He don't want to hear none of that shit. But right. Busta inspired me a lot, man. Right. Like, you might not see it in my style. I can see it a little bit. I yeah, can see the yeah, animation. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. Like, just being animated, being, yeah. like, more goofy and more yeah. silly and mm. just, like, not catering to one or two crowds, right. just being myself. But he still gets the respect that he deserves. Absolutely, Nobody yeah. looks at him like a... like. Somebody who you could just run up on, you know what I mean? Right. Just because he smiles. Yeah, he does that on stage, but his off stage is not that. Right, and right. he's great on stage. Right. Uh, I always love fast rappers. Like, that's always been one of my favorite things, like, growing up as a kid. His videos always been amazing. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, Buster Rhymes is one of my yeah. favorite dudes, man, for sure. Right. And he's a great dude, man, like, in great. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Right. Legend, too. He gives good hugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he loves you, he's like, he's gonna let you know. Love, yeah. let you know he, and he great words you. When, he, yeah. when he talks to you. Yeah. Squeeze your yeah. hand, yeah. bro. Yeah. Words of encouragement are yes. just amazing. Uh, yeah. Love that guy. Yay or Pharrell? Kanye or Pharrell? Pharrell, for sure. Uh, Yay is, you know, classic out there. But P, I think he speaks more to like my crowd, which is like the skateboard alternative, hip hop, but like, you know, still, you know, fucking into rock bands type shit. Right, right. Yeah, P is like the leader of that. So I'm going to go P. Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Bob Marley or Jimi Hendrix. I'm going to go both on that one. Okay, let's I need go. to take a shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I felt like you said it Jamaican. I'm going to go both on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like, I felt like the, the, the Rastafari just came out hey. of you. So you want to go back on the Pharrell, yeah? Mm -mm. Afterwards? After, yeah. Perfect. After. George Clinton or Willie Nelson? George Clinton. Yes. Um, yeah, George Clinton. Have you ever met Willie Nelson? I have and not to met Willie Nelson. I was going to uh, say I have, but he rolled me a joint. And I didn't get to smoke it, but I'm going to chop it up with Willie. Willie, what's what happening? He rolled you a joint, you didn't get to smoke it. <laughs> That's a long story. <laughs> we got, we got time. time. We got time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at my album premiere, uh, my album release party in New York. It was my first album. Black and Yellow had just went number Crazy. one. I was performing in New York. I sold out the venue. Snoop Dogg was doing a late night television set across the street with Willie Nelson. He left across the street with Willie Nelson to come over to cross the street with me. He said, Willie said that he wanted to be here, but he couldn't because he owed, but he rolled you this joint <laughs> and he wanted you to smoke it. I went on stage. I got off stage. I said, where's my Willie Nelson joint? And one of my homies smoked it. Oh, oh that would have been Boris. Nah, Boris would have done that to you. Nah, nah. <laughs> Not if you know it's from Willie Nelson. Nah. You ain't yeah. supposed to do that. Huh? Damn. <laughs> No, but he probably didn't yeah, know it's one of my he's one of my close friends. Yeah, but yeah, we're still really but, good friends. But he didn't know it's from Willie Nelson. His though. his name rhymes with heavy goods. Oh, heavy! Uh, damn it! Yeah, it's <laughs> what's up? <laughs> why y'all? Why y'all? Okay, so hold on. Did he know it's from Willie Nelson, or he just thought it's a regular joint? You asked him to hold. Who knows, man? Okay, okay. Did he say it was good? I mean, I don't think he was trying to do all that. Like, <laughs> at least it was fire, cuz. Like, nah, you don't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I know y'all got some more questions. I got to pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. 
to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your yeah, thing. Go to the Y'all got a cup I can pee in no, or something? No, 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 no. Get up. Get up. You got a full flesh bathroom for you, sir. All right, today's 420, and it's today. Uka is available right now at getuka.com. G E T O O K A.com. Let's go. Get that Uka or be Buka. And you don't want to be Buka. No Sam Buka either. Let's go. Get Uka. All right. All right. This is if I can't answer this one, right? I get candy gun. Yeah. No. Uh, or oh, it's just cause. I mean, yeah, we, just we, we just, right. right now, we just yeah. waiting for that, but it's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's whatever. Yeah, Eventually, yeah, yeah. it's happening. Yep. Uh, how high are Pineapple Express? Uh, how high? Whew, I had an answer for that one. You ever hung out with Seth Rogen? I have. We got a picture, me, him, and Snoop. Smoked? Yeah, we did the cross joint. He yeah, wrote the I was about to say the yeah. cross oh, joint. Oh, I yeah, did yeah, see yeah, that. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So the cross joint is for real. It's not just in Pineapple. No, nah, it's real. It's real. Okay, okay. All right. And he actually smokes weed too. There's a lot of niggas who do weed movies who don't smoke. Nah, you can weed. tell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He smokes weed, so right. we good. NWA or Wu Tang? Wu Tang. All right, and this is the last one. Dude, say the last one. Okay, the last one. We, everyone thinks that this is a trick game, but this is the only time where we feel like you, it, it's, it isn't a trick. Love or respect? Loyalty or respect? Excuse me. Loyalty or respect? But. Hmm. I would take loyalty. Mm. Yeah. Because you can respect somebody and not be loyal to them. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I'll take loyalty. Like, if you don't necessarily respect me, mm -hmm. I don't really give a fuck. Right. But if you're loyal to me, if I could, like, depend on you for something, that means a lot. Right. I wouldn't have that in reverse order. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I sure. feel like that's the only time... Both is necessary. I feel like loyalty and respect goes hand in hand. So, like, that's me. But everybody don't respect everything. Yeah, you're right. And, like, a lot of niggas lose, they might start off respecting right. you and they right. fucking lose respect for you. Right. Or you might end up losing respect for somebody else based off of something they did, but you ain't never gonna cross that, man. Right. I respect that. So, what you're saying is both. Go ahead. Hit with the. Hit with the. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did this to DJ Khaled. He did not like it. <laughs> he did not like it at all. Here like, we go. He was like, I see this show all the time. Wait for me, <laughs> They don't never do this. I'm and that's not Khalifa. Oh! oh! Yeah! yeah! This is the handle, oh, bro. But pick it up. How you leave it on the floor to burn? <laughs> Damn, no, bro. The handle is just cheap. All right, let's see what happens. Let's do it again. You said nothing happened, bro. Yo, yo, pure drink champs fashion. How come it look like it got drink in there? Look, they have them going. I was looking forward to that. Come on. All right, let's start, on. Let's, let's start that one over. Get it out. Get it out. Yo, pure drink champs fashion. Yeah. Hey, yo, he's been holding that gun for your episode. Yo, for, yeah, for yeah, he's been holding on. that for your episode. You should have tested the sturdiness of the handle. Yeah. <laughs> you should have swung that motherfucker nah. around. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Ahead, we, got got enough, we got weed for him, right? As long as we got right, weed. Up, let's go. As long as we got weed, we good. Yeah. We, uh, we thought we had it playing right. Come on, guys. Set it up. <laughs> we don't have weed. My weed gods came through again, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. What's up? <laughs> so that was the Khalifa Kushner there. Thank you. That was the Khalifa Kushner there. You just didn't want me to get smoked out. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, yeah, yo. Yeah, fix it together. Uh, by the way, it's classic. We got it all on film. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's still classic. That it's going to be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, bro, that's just All right. I'm going to tell all my fans uh, yeah. not to... Get on your line. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, be nice to go. No, be nice oh, to, I'll, to I'll to go back to that. <laughs> That's what Marlon Marlo Wayne calls yeah. Papote. <laughs> no, for real, please. So, you got the two records. Like, if I, if they was to tell me these are the last, some of the last records I want to hear in my life, these would be two of them. Um, what? From what? I'm, we're about to play it right now. Oh, okay. Oh, we thought we had our shit together. Little Papito do not have it together. Oh, that was like a timing <laughs> thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Papote. That's oh, that's like Papito. Yeah. That's Little Papito over there. Turn it up. Oh, okay, okay. Little okay. Papi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. 
Seven. Uh, uh, we don't care who. Hey, oh, so what we go? Hey! That sounds closer. Here we go. Hey, living. One more time. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, stop, 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 stop. Let me tell you why I love keep this. Because it's, it was like, it's it was like. It was like paint. Dipping like I'm dripping in paint. I don't want to say you, you brung the youth out of Snoop, but you could tell you was you were rhyming. And Snoop did not want to be out rhymed by you. <laughs> That's what it felt like? In a great way. In, like, in the most greatest in way ever. That's right. exactly what was happening. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was a dick. Yeah, 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 that's exactly what was happening, man. When we made that song, um, I had moved out to L.A. That was, that was like my first like time staying there for an amount of time. And uh, I was living at the W. And I, I just told Hollywood myself, yeah, Westwood? in Hollywood. Okay. I just told myself, I was like... I never wanted to move out to LA till I had my money right. Like right. I know how much money it costs to, to live out there. So I wasn't like trying to be cracked. So I was like, I'm gonna make sure my bread is right and then I'm gonna move out here. So I got my money up and I was like, all right, I'm moving. So I lived in a hotel for like a week and I was like, if I don't find a crib in a week, I'm just gonna be fucking homeless because I'm not going back home. Right. And in that week, I met up with Snoop. We shot a couple videos. We did a video for That Good. We uh, we just talked about a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. And we just came up with a like a whole game plan. And he was like, yeah, you're going to move right up the street from me. Right. This is my little apartment, That's my dope. little whoop right. right here. You're going to stay up the street from me. We're going to shoot a movie. We're going to do this. We're going to go on tour. We're going to log in. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm your little homie. I'm right. posted right up the street. So that's when this song was created in wow. that little amount of time. And he had an apartment um, right off of Sunset. And I would go down to the apartment and just pick out beats and shit like that. I would pick like five or six beats. And he literally had a, the booth in the closet. Right. So I'm walking in the, the apartment, going in the room. The engineer is there. I'm walking through the bathroom. There's like kitty litter. There's like two cats in there. I think it was like Prince in, uh or... It, it was two names. I forget what the name. It was like Ike and Tina or some shit. Uh, <laughs> he had two cats, and then you walk through the bathroom, and then you're in his closet, uh -huh. and it's Snoop Dogg's closet. So it's like all types of like custom Snoop jerseys and Steelers <laughs> shit and Lakers shit, uh -huh. just like legendary shit. I think fucking one of Don Juan suits was in there, <laughs> and I'm like just laying verses in this closet, and. He would be in uh, another room, like just chilling, smoking, playing a game, doing his thing. But he would come in and hear my verses, and I would leave, and he would do his verses, and I would come back, and I would hear his shit. Yeah. So it was like we was going back and forth. I would hear his verse. I'd be like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> so Go right back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like mm -hmm. real shit. Mm -hmm. And this particular record, we came together because I had just signed to Atlantic. And uh, he was like, man, these motherfuckers keep sending me this weak-ass song. <laughs> he was like, it ain't for me. And he was like... But I think together it'll work like for both of us. He was like, so that hook was on there already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's Bruno Mars singing the hook. Oh Get shit! The fuck out yeah, of that's Bruno Mars. But he had caught a little case around that time, <laughs> so they didn't want him being involved right. with, with, I remember, with I remember. a Get High record because <sighs> you know his little case or whatever. <sighs> but Snoop didn't like the song for him individually. I didn't like the song for me individually. And the movie was in the making. It just but sounded not like too like you know what I mean. It just, it, it it sounded like too. It was like it didn't it didn't sound right for both of us like individually. So Y'all could be featured on it, but right? when we came together, it just made perfect sense. Like we recorded that shit in fifteen minutes and just wow. put that shit straight out, and it went crazy, man. That's like one of the biggest songs. They sing that shit all over the world. They sing it in yeah, Korea. That's a good record. They sing it in Africa. They sing it in if, India. If the party is down. Yeah, go to there. Yeah, you could sing that at the airport, and then yeah. people would just start singing it with you, yo. Uh. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. It's real talk. Yeah, but, yeah. You know what we can't look over what you just said? That type of mentorship that Snoop was willing to give mm -hmm. you is so right. dope. Mm -hmm. right. no. Like I, we need more of that in the culture. Like yeah, for that yeah. To Snoop's really the big homie, man. He's he's really the greatest of all time. Because I feel like a lot of people, their, their legacy is living past them. He's the living legend. Mm -hmm. He's the one who's still here right. doing it. Doing it. And Act nobody up. else in the rap game has a second coming of them. Like another one of them, like you know what I mean, and he was able to bring me into the game, and people be like, "Yo, Wiz is the Snoop Dogg of our generation." Nobody else has that. I, right. I believe Rakim has that with Nas. It's similar. Nah, Nas is Nas. Yeah, but some would argue <coughs> that Nas was the second coming out. Rakim. But did Rakim share the stage with Nas? 
Have they been on tour together? Do they have no. a movie together? No. Snoop Dogg. All right, you win. <laughs> <laughs> and Snoop right. and Hello. Hello. Other artists <laughs> win. <laughs> All right, you win. You win. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot for that. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot for that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You got it ready? That last one. Uh, that's, damn, this shit you doing? I'm, I'm good at this. That shit went to the shop. That's why. That's why we gotta stick to Uka. Because what? Yeah, it was Yo, one the, slip. The anticipation of it when it was about to go <laughs> down and brah. It was going. No, nah, that's the crazy it, part. It, it was coming right now. Nah, because it was, it was so funny how we had got college. I right, but that, that was it was so funny how we got Khaled. So we were trying to get you. We gotta put that and the in weed guards just looking for you. I wanna, I wanna see, see, I wanna yeah. see Khaled. Oh, you, you got, they made a meme out of that or, or, or a gif or something, a gif yeah. off of it. He said, I see the show all the time. He was like, this. They don't like, never do this. And he ran, he ran. <laughs> yeah, he ran, ran, yeah, ran yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he don't smoke. All right, so <laughs> one of my top, I don't know want to say top 20 or top 50 or whatever, one of the songs that I would like to hear. I got two of them in my list. Oh, I think I know what this one is. They go to the second one. Oh. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but to the end of the voice. Oh, 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 I know you said it earlier, you always want to make global music. Yeah. But it's a difference from global music and anthem music. Yeah. Right? So, so there's global music where it's just pretty much, like I, I would say, the, the record about Paul Walker. Mm. That's like, a to me, a global, but then you're making these anthems. Right. And if you make a global anthem, then right. you're out yeah, right, 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 right. I would say okay, Paul Walker's right. a global, global anthem. Next, global anthem. <laughs> 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 but, um... I know you said it earlier, but I just want to reiterate that. Um, have, when you make these anthems, are you going in saying, I'm making an anthem tonight? Like, That's crazy because, no. Right. Yeah, I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like how you <laughs> I'm going to take a shot with that one, too. <laughs> no, <Nah>, for sure. <laughs> um, no, nah, man, I didn't, I didn't really know that I was making anthems for a minute. I thought that I was just kind of getting lucky with that shit. Right. And then I just started realizing like, oh, okay, these are those types of records that people fuck with. Mm -hmm. uh, when I did Black and Yellow, um, that was just me representing my city. I love Pittsburgh right. so much. Everybody in, uh, in Pittsburgh loves the city so much. So it was just, you know, my way of letting everybody know where I'm from. Right. And still it just happened to go to the freaking the Super Bowl. Happened, right? Right? That year, no, the so same that year. year. Yeah, it was the same yeah. year that Black and Yellow was on yeah. the radio. You do got they went to the Super That's what I'm saying, baby. Yeah, you got we got. Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, you know, so that happened with, uh, with Black and Yellow and then with Weed and Boys. Um, I have really good taste in music and right. I just know a hit when I, right. when I, when I hear one. And at this particular time in my career, I was working on my third album and that could be like a, a tough spot for artists because you're trying to find your thing and then you're trying to still do what's new and you're just you're just trying to figure out a bunch of things it's a lot with the label because they might be expecting they have other people coming in so it's a lot of competition and for me it's just always about like making the best music and being in that pocket right then and there right. and um i knew i needed a hit you know what i'm saying and i was just willing to work with with anybody that that was you know making good music at that time right. uh when i did black and yellow uh Stargate, they were making hit records at the time. So it was like, let's work with Stargate. And when I did Weed and Boys, um, Detail was on his way up. He already had like a bunch of hits and a lot of people that he was working with. But he was still, you know, seasoning and, right. you know, shifting and pivoting and doing a lot of different things. He was all over the place. So he was open to getting in the studio with me. And as soon as I heard, you know, the rough for Weed and Boys, I was like, that's a hit. I'm like, yeah. this is a banger. And it was just one of them songs that I was really ready to, you know, go to war about and just be, you know, uh, 
stand up like yo this is the record right like here like the label you saying like, yeah make sure yeah the label. yeah yeah make sure the label like understands the message it's, and still, like, like a, it's still a dark sounding record when you hear but it's a it's a it's something that gets you rowdy like yeah, it gets you rowdy. when we yes. were in the studio yeah. making it like we were standing up <laughs> right, on right, top right. of like, shit like when we like, when we went on a promo run for the club we would just snatch the mic and just be like hold up hold up so it just made us feel a certain type of way and we knew that the world would feel that way as well and um, I came up with the idea for the video, and you know that came off really well. So it was just a really, really good moment for my career. God damn, make some noise, man! Bro. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! And then Dallas Cowboys picked it up and made it like official merch and shit like that too. Because wow. the Cowboys, the they uh, apparently they them boys. So yeah, they like got shit in their yards that says "We them boys." They got. Dallas Cowboys shirts and all that. When they score touchdowns, they fucking screaming "We them boys." Uh. So it's like I got a Pittsburgh anthem and I got a Dallas anthem as well. Jerry Jones is cutting them checks. I mean, not necessarily <laughs> a check, but it's good promotion though. And he right. let me go to the stadium and like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, eat some nachos and shit. <laughs> it was cool. Now nah, they they're really really cool about it, and you know it's it's good promotion. You guys fix that over there. We have literally a it's mechanic, broke. a mechanic working it's on broke. it. Now. I also heard heard you say somewhere that um, you, if you if you had a chance to to do rolling papers over or if you you would have did something else. No, nah, that was like early in my career. I was like letting the criticism get, get to, to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have felt that people were expecting one thing from my mixtape shit and then they got something from my uh from my from my album that they didn't that they weren't ready for mm. and uh just me caring about people's reactions yeah. that's what made me say that but looking back I don't give a fuck yeah. that shit is legendary yeah. like I got yeah. plaques in my crib yeah. from more than half of that album which means people physically were buying that shit yeah. And it was a really good, you know, exercise for me to get to where I'm at in my career now. And if I I wouldn't have done that, it wouldn't have made the, you know, paved the way for hits like, you know, Weed and Boys, Young, Wild and Free, See You Again. And, you know, all the other platinum hits that, you know, people love me for. So I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I wrote the letter. And But I... I don't feel like that today, though, right. at all. You also were one of the first artists working with uh, the guys at Rolling Loud. Yeah, I remember, yeah. I remember out here the Fort Lauderdale, the what's the Revolution, Revolution Live, when they were doing their early Rolling Louds. They were just doing straight concerts, uh -huh. and you were one of the first artists working with them. Yeah, yeah. Did that translate? Did you that relationship still intact? Yeah, definitely. Um, we pioneered a lot of things, man, just by being available. Um, I think. Me being like one of the first rap acts doing festivals and just bigger, you know, headlining stages and things like that, it opened up a lot of opportunities for for people to bring that, you know, same attention to other artists as well, or take their their artists on tour or sell merch and do things like that. So it's really good to see like the whole show scene and the festival scene like budding and right. you know everybody you know eating off of that, and and it's still the original homies from before. Yeah, and there's cats like. You know, things that we did at South by Southwest that are still going or, you know, reached their peak and we were able to see that through. So it's really dope, man. Do you prefer doing festivals or a show that's just you? I like all of it. I love doing the festivals. I like doing the festivals because you get different types of music. Like, right. that's the only time I'll be able to perform with, like, Elton John or some shit like that. You right. know what I mean? So it's really cool to do the festivals. And then when I'm on my tour, um, I'm able to, you know, go in with the production and just be more creative and things like that right. with, with my own vision and stuff like that. So it, I get a I get a lot out of both. That's dope. It, Hell yeah. Is there any place that you, you, you can't go to because of your smoking habits? Like Dubai I, don't allow smoking, but I'm, it's not I'm that I can't this. go there. I just can't smoke can't while smoke. I'm yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm hearing that um, they decriminalize it, but I don't know what that means. But it's religious why they don't do it over there. Yeah, but I'm and, just saying religion is, I hear that is a rule of the like law. more I mean, lenient, yeah. but it's like still, you know, like having weed is one thing, but then like trafficking, being with right. traffickers, it's right. like it's right. a lot. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, it's not <laughs> worth chancing it over there. Remember, hell no. <laughs> <It's not laughs> worth it. yeah. I remember smack dad in the middle of you know, people getting arrested for weed. It was like Snoop had like the illest past. Like he would come to this one hotel in New York and for seven floors, they would just let him smoke whatever the fuck he wanted. Yeah. 
And it's like, um, Snoop is different, man. It's what you do when you're a boss. He's different. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's different. Yep. What the fuck. Oh, can I be a supporter of that, man? Mm. I got, uh, uh, I feel like you got, we should have the gun popping. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You let us down. Shoot me. Hey, Let's be honest. It's not going to work anymore. You guys yeah. are way too optimistic. Let's smoke this uka then. Yeah, we, are we smoking that uka? God damn it. I think I need a... No, they, they refill. They did a refill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy because me listening to... Um, they repacked it. Um, your music... I, I was. I said to myself, man, I always wanted a, a record with Wiz and Pharrell, and we. I actually do have a remix with me, you, and Pharrell, but it's not the real thing. Before, okay. What do you mean it's not the real thing? I mean because I just felt like it was. It was just a remix. But like me listening to Wiz music, I need that. Fi- I need. I need that hook. I need. What the, the hell are I, you gonna do with that verse then? <laughs> no, we we got you. We, we put it out. We put it out. We put it out. We put it out. But I need. We. I, I want to go with me, you, Pharrell. Get, get him Y'all need to go in the studio And make a feel good record yeah. You, you know gotta spark saying? it though Oh I'm, I'm a spark Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I am sparked Yeah, sir. Yes, yeah you, yes, gotta, yes. you gotta spark it Like yeah, I wanna Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Because would be hard. I wanna do um, Well well, maybe it's not My last album Or maybe it's A Drink Champs Full album And I wanna do Guests that we had That's easy You know, you know what I mean Yeah Like we had We had a studio up there Oh well we were <laughs> So we gonna be in the studio Together or Are yeah. you sending this I would record? love we that need I would to love, I would love studio, that yeah. I like being in the studio With Pharrell And I like yes. being in the studio With you Yes yes Thank you yeah. Thank you yeah. And there's nothing like Being in with Pharrell Cause I, I I was able to be In the studio with them A couple times And Pharrell's just working again He's ill uh, Don't embarrass me again He's, he's, he's funny too Yeah 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 He had me cracking up Yeah Tell you what what you need to do. Yeah, for sure. Tell you what you need to work on. Yeah, nah, for sure. How many times you been in the studio with Pharrell? Maybe I think we locked in for like three days when I was working on my second album, Uh and then maybe like another time after that. Okay, it was really good though. He made a beat right there on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, He did a verse on there. Oh wow! Yeah, because I I I like sang my part and then I rapped my verse. And I was like, yo, P, let me get a verse on here real quick. And he went in there and rapped me a verse. I was right. like, oh, right. hell yeah. Just like most that. Most people think yeah, people yeah. write his verses. He uh, write that oh, shit right nah, there. Nah, yeah. He yeah. MC. He, yeah. he, 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 he did his yeah. verse. Mm-hmm. And he showed up for the video as well. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, what the fuck? Yep. So yeah. what producer would you want to work with now that you have it? Dr. Dre. Dre is on the Dre. list. I'm definitely going to work with Dre. But... um, I want to work some more with, with Timberland. Timberland. Yeah, yeah. He out here. Yeah, yeah. I want to fuck with Tim a little bit more. Um, Swiss Beats. Swiss Beats. Ooh. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that easy. Yeah, me and Swiss. Ooh, I can see that. Yeah, me yeah. and Swiss. I can see that. Um, Would you do a versus? Not right now. Not right now? No. Nah. You think you got more years? <laughs> or... Why, 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 you feel I, that's for it, someone that's more your elder? Or you... You feel like it's catalog wise, you want to do more? I think, I feel like catalog wise, I would want to do more. Like, just as a consumer, when I watch verses, I'm, I get happy when I hear like older songs that I didn't even know that they had anything to do with, right. mm. or just like hits that, you know, they might have been behind the scenes on. And B sides like, and shit. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be cool to like bring that out. I feel like a lot of my shit is still relevant. Mm. So it's like not a not a real surprise. Like, you know what I mean? Like it'll be cool to be like, oh yeah, this nigga does have a lot of bangers. But I I wanna be involved with a lot more different things that aren't just Wiz Khalifa. Right. And then if I was to do a versus be like, yeah, and I wrote this. Play yeah. something in yeah. Spanish. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's more of a flex to me. <laughs> right, right. So yeah. Have you done anything like with reggaeton? Any artists? I do I do a ton of stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What'd you like, say? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I, call, I thought you called him a bad bunny. bunny. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> eh? We, we, say it in English, sir. <laughs> Come on. What did you just say? <laughs> this is so disrespectful. ¿Qué te está diciendo, hermano? Dímelo en español, I'll translate. Yeah, yeah, tell him, tell him in Spanish. I understood him <laughs> just fine. <laughs> I heard exactly what he <laughs> said. <laughs> what did he say? No, oh, damn. Relax. I smoke A's. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> so we spoke about the foot earlier. Do you think the foot? The, <laughs> the foot. The, the thing the foot back to you, be, you be kicking the shit out of them boxing. <laughs> them, 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 them heavy bags. You be kicking the shit out of. You them. said is that's why my feet are dry? I'm asking. No. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say dry. I didn't say dry. You used the word dry. I said, do you think that's the reason why the feet is viral? Is because you be kicking the shit out of the bags? Because I be looking at you. You don't be playing. I'm like, oh, since they're ready for the UFC. What, what are you training in, Muay Thai? Yeah, I do Muay Thai. Uh, I do Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo, and. Oh, you were banana. Wrestling. It's, it's mixed martial arts. It's MMA, so it's everything. A nigga might throw you on the ground, a nigga might elbow you, a right. nigga might. Grab your ankle, all that shit. Basically, you won't fuck a nigga up with your big toe. Nah, I mean, Let's you just know, throw it out. There. I, I, tra- I train. <laughs> it's a sport. I'm in shape. You use your feet, yes. <laughs> you, 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 he said you chalk up your foot to kick. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's a good one, though. I like the jump. <laughs> I mean, you know, nah. I, I think it's just from like la- lack of moisture. That's all. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, my bad. <laughs> but you do be kicking this shit out the back. Yeah, I train five days a week uh, at a gym called Unbreakable. I've been I've been training for about six years consistently now. I I, I do weight training and uh and you know the the martial arts end of it as well. So yeah. Only UFC niggas go there. Only them. Well, UFC is a is a brand. So, right, but right. MMA yeah, is, is, is martial, martial arts, arts. Is the yeah. is the art. Yeah, and like training karate. all those practices. Karate is a part of one hundred percent. Any martial so, art. Yeah, you I, mix them up. Exa- exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Don't embarrass us this time. Yeah. Oh, you ready? Don't lose no more Khalifa Kush. <laughs> If Yo, hold that motherfucker. He's gonna kick Grip you with it. that Glue Mutai- Glu- that shit to your hand. Grip it. He said, oh, I'm not just gonna kick you. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> oh, he scared him again. He's about to join it. <laughs> oh, man. That's that Khalifa Gun. I'm getting it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Man, you guys smoking. Definitely Man, smoking, bro. Smoking right now. Four twenty. Oh shit! Stop <laughs> it! Oh, Happy hey. four twenty. Give it to you, man. No, no, no. Good ass weed. Yes. I can kick you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Holy shit. That was awesome. <laughs> Why am I the only one coughing here? Yeah, right? I don't even smoke. <laughs> You're high. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, I am, I, you I just got, got high. Like, and he's red as shit. They just got high like got this. Yeah, that was tight. Yes. Yeah. He's fucking high, bro. Holy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to have one of these Mike Tyson bites. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's big up to Mike Tyson. Eat ear, bro. bro. Eat a fucking ear, You want dog. that crazy smoke? I'm set up weed all of a sudden. Who want that crazy smoke? <laughs> Eat an ear, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. So, cut your orange juice, right? Yeah. Order me a pizza, Such please. Such a unique sound. How did, you, how did you capture that sound? Um, Man, it was like really just living on the road and being a young man. <laughs> and just rapping about my my uh, excursions as a young player, and it was real fun, man. It was a uh, it was a good time. I met Currency during that time, and we kind of came up with our well, not kind of, but we really strategically came up with our own style and our own sound. And we actually called it karate. And we were watching a lot of we were watching a lot of anime and samurais and just you know what I'm saying just crazy ass shit and we just called it there you go we just called our flow karate like just how we would kick it how we would do shit and um the cushion orange juice name came from my homie uh Jake in in Toronto so I went up to Toronto for a couple days and I was recording the 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 last couple pieces of uh how fly which is the mixtape that I did with currency Mm -hmm. but I was also working on cushion orange juice and um, everything that I would say was like wake and bacon. Like we would wake, we would bake, and we would do this. And then just randomly, he was like, man, your laptop smells like cushion orange juice. And I was like, damn, <laughs> your bro. laptop? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn, bro, you don't understand. That's my whole life right there. Like <laughs> it just felt to me like a different way to say wake and bake, like All cushion right. orange juice. And I was able to wrap the music around that and, um, you know, just texture everything to to really just describe what we were going through at that time. And uh, shout out to Cardo. Shout out to Sledgerin, shout out to Germ, E Dan, everybody who produced on that album, Nesby Phipps. Um, 
uh, Big Crit. You know, everybody Big who... Big Crit. Yeah, everybody who had beats or verses on that album, man. Like, uh, it, it, was, it was legendary for us. And not only that, it was like, like you know, most hip-hop albums have skits. That's the one thing I noticed about it is the, yeah. the skits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose idea was it to... That was to, my idea. Okay. Yeah, I came up from that era where, you know, that every classic album has skits had skit, on it. Yes, like yes. The Chronic or, yeah. you know... Something that tied all the songs together. Equimini yeah. or fucking... You know, every dope album has skits on it. So I just wanted to do it in my own little way. And of course, I, I came up listening to Snoop. So they had, you know, uh, Doggy Style Radio. Yeah. Right. And uh and all of that shit. So I just made up my own little radio station, W E E D, and made my own little, you know, host of it and we just went with it. I did a bunch of mixtapes before Cushion Orange Juice. Mm. I had like seven mixtapes mix before game that. Was crazy. Yeah, I had like seven projects before that where I had also, you know, done the same concept. Right. But like everybody knows, it takes a minute for it to catch on. Right. And especially at that time, I had the internet to help me out. Like, you know, Twitter was brand new. So I was just fucking abusing that. <laughs> and uh, YouTube, I was just, you know, uploading everything and making it a movie or making it a, a a post or a vlog and people were just following my whole thing on Twitter so when that album came out it was really interactive for the fans as well and it was one of the first things to really use the internet like that too so it was it was big you feel like you was one of the first viral artists like internet viral internet viral right right which is what I mean no, that's what viral no would be. I would say Soldier Boy is the first viral yeah yeah I would say Soldier Boy I'm yeah. bad Soldier Boy yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say yeah, that I don't want no smoke with Soldier Boy yeah yeah that's correct. nah but yeah. that's it's true though yeah. like he really was like the first viral I think he literally got his record deal yeah off of no I, absolutely because he was hustling he was like in his house yeah and people heard his music from him promoting it and. Before it was like out of the trunk, and the internet became the new trunk. Mm -hmm. yeah, the internet, yeah, yeah. So I would say Soldier Boy was but, uh, the first, was which that, went hand in hand with the ringtone. Yeah, he's a, the beginning of that ringtone yeah, era. Yeah, the ringtone era was was one thing too, because yeah, for sure, yeah. And that was a big thing over at Warner. Was yeah. like, dude, does it got a ringtone song? Yeah, that was all the labels. <laughs> ringtone, ringtone song. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know. That. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You were saying something? We interrupted you. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go go for it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I forgot. That fucking that can of gun got you, I got, bro. I got, yeah, I got, I got mad uh, questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, Roll Up, that song. Yeah. <laughs> Where was you at? What was you doing? Did you roll up? Did I roll up? <laughs> <laughs> That's your part of the question. <laughs> <laughs> How you just came up with that? Um, so that was, that was an interesting part of my career because I had <coughs> written Black and Yellow maybe like eight months before, but nobody really believed in Black and Yellow. So, so Black and Yellow was out eight months and it wasn't reacting? No, nah, they didn't believe in it before I oh, put right, it out. Oh, right, coming out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, before it, we dropped it, it was about four months before it dropped. Mm. So that was the period where nobody like believed in it and mm. that was the period of them like, the label asking me to record another single. I'm like, nah, I got a single. It's Black and Yellow, it's Black and Yellow, it's Black and Yellow. So we put Black and Yellow out in the fall. Was, that was Atlantic? Yeah, it was Atlantic. Right, right. I don't want to throw anybody on the bus, make no, it seem I'm like they're bad. I'm just saying because I remember working these records right. through these yeah, labels. Yeah, exactly. I don't Brad want to make it seem... Brad Kalman ain't do the right thing. I don't want to make it seem like anybody's no, 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 bad no, no. at their job, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they know the story, they'll tell the story too. Mike, but guys, I'm call you tonight. The label didn't believe in Black and Yellow. We put Black and Yellow out and went number one. So they're like, fuck, we need another song. Right. Immediately. Like right now, like get on the plane, get back in the studio with the same producers and do what you did the first time. I was like, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. So they played me a couple beats. I didn't really, you know, fuck with any of them. I was like, this one sounds cool and I'm going to do it about this. Instead, you know, I did a fucking, you know, a sports anthem. I was like, let me soften it up a little bit. But I'm on my weed shit. So let me like troll the world and like have it sound like friendly but be talking about fucking weed at the same time and I wrote Roll Up and you know they went with it and we uh, we shot the video Cassie was in the video shout out to Cassie and that was another you know platinum platinum record for me right out the gate cause that was like right on the verge of weed like kind of like being um Untaboo at this time. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it was still a thing. Like it was still a taboo. At yeah, this time? yeah, oh, it was really? still a thing, especially like me coming from like the blog or mixtape era. Like right. 
people weren't used to me making those types of songs, but I always knew like, yeah, I'm going to make bigger records that are going to appeal to everybody, but I'm going to just do it in my own way. Right. So that was my way of, you know, making a crossover record, but still making it weed friendly. Like, you know? That's genius. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Just make some noise for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just to go back on not throwing the labels under the bus, just to be fair to these marketing departments, this was the era where the internet was so new in terms of how people were promoting music mm -hmm. that the labels were still on the old guard of just radio promotion yeah. and the yeah, old yeah, school yeah. way that that's why they had like, they they they, they didn't catch up quick enough. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They were all like kind of behind on that. Yeah, they didn't understand that we were in control of our fan base. Right. right. They thought that they knew better than we did. I'm like, look, I could say, fuck this shit uh, blah 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 and they're gonna buy it like they love me they don't care right. what the fuck I'm saying like labels hadn't seen that before they were used to yep. building the artist and the machine is still the machine back then there was no digital sales it was all like right. physical yep. so if I'm selling a million records these it's is really a million, million motherfuckers yeah. who's going to buy this shit right. so it was a different time back then yeah. so it was a lot more on the line back then you and know they what controlled I mean? the publicity you could go straight to the blogger right. straight to the internet right. Right. and I think they were still catching up to it that. It was just a disconnect. <laughs> they the did. They had it. They, had come, yeah, yeah, they, didn't, they hadn't come together. But you would know you what agree I'm once y'all artists started to take control like that, your generation is 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 probably that generation that started to take control. And Absolutely. After that it, generation it is, is that. where they introduced the 360 deal. Because, the 360 started before that. Yeah, but I mean, what I mean is they re- they re Because 360 it. was was trying to grab your, your show money. Everything. It was everything. But I'm saying because it, was, it wasn't having to do with internet. It was just grabbing your show money. So they already started. Like yeah, you said, they already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah, I believe yeah. it was already started, but yeah. I believe after these artists, like, you know, start to. Just, Be self-contained. Yeah, self-contained. Yeah. I believe that's where it reintroduced itself. Yeah, I feel like the 360 started to just become more of what makes sense because. They wanted everything together, yeah. and they were losing money. They were losing a lot Hand of money over fist because CDs weren't. They selling They seen anymore. the 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 control that an artist would have, and it's a way to leverage it more to be like, "Yo, just work with us because you'll end up making more money." Right. You'll right. give us this percentage, but you're gonna make a shit ton more than you would just by yourself. Right. And that's just them, you know, up in their game. Like, like you know we're forgetting I mean? the Napster era, like the era yes. of free downloads yes. yeah. and, and bootlegging at, yeah. on the on the digital level. Yeah. Like, I preferred crazy. when the Africans I mean, had my when CDs. when I came in, too. They were like, selling my shit. I preferred that. More, I more that. different stuff started becoming valuable for an artist. Like, merch wasn't that valuable for an artist before I came in the game, but... You know, you start seeing Taylor Gang this, Taylor Gang that. Right. They're like, fuck, we need a piece of that. Like, right. you know what I mean? So that starts to get wrapped into 360 deals. Right. And then you start talking about like monetizing niggas, social media and all of that other shit. Right. And it just gets real crazy. That that didn't even exist when I was there. Right. But um, yeah, there's a lot of different reasons why they do it and different ways that they upgrade it due to, you know what I mean, where we're at in the game. Like, for sure, 100%. Would you ever sign an artist to a 360 deal? No, nah, I wouldn't. Okay. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm just not that big of a machine. Like, I, I can't I can't follow through of what a 360 right. deal entails. You got to like, provide, help them get the shows. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I can help you get shows and shit like that. Like, that's cool, but it's like... You know, I can't go to radio and be like, yo, play play this song. Like, yeah. fuck all of those other artists, play this song. Yeah. Cause that's what they do. Like yeah. other I mean, like labels. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if you're a priority artist, you're gonna get that type of treatment. But that's the problem with the 360 deal. It only a certain small percentage become those priority artists. Oh, for sure. And everybody else is stuck there not for getting sure. that. And that, you're only a priority for a certain amount of time. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. It don't last forever. No. <laughs> <laughs> They got other priorities. Yeah. <laughs> Where's no shit? Where's no shit? Holy shit! Yeah. Holy, but I right, it ain't no fun. The song? Yeah. Uh, girl talk. Yep. Smoke Dizzle. Yep. Okay, cool. Shout out Smoke Dizzle. Yeah, hell yeah, that's my no. Homie. I thought Big Crit was on there. Big Crit is on there. Okay, all right, cool. I just didn't get the name. Okay, all right, cool. cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yep. Tell us about that. I was fucking loaded. Girl Talk called me to the studio. I was like, we're making an album, bro. Mm -hmm. It's got three of your best friends or two of your best friends on there. Mm -hmm. Just get in the studio. Just start making jams, yo. Like like old times. Me and Dizzy, we came up, you know, mixtape days, blog Dizzle. era. Yeah, Smoke, smoke Dizzy, Crit. Took him on our first tours together. 
wow. you know, we really, really just came up out the mud together. So when it comes to getting in the studio with them dudes, it's automatic. Like, we just coming up with ideas. Sometimes Smoke will start it. Sometimes Cradle's do the hook. Sometimes I'll come in with the hook. Sometimes I'll have a verse. Like, it just, nobody's stepping on nobody's toes. Hella laughs. Mm -hmm. And uh, Girl Talk is from Pittsburgh. He's a big DJ um, just in the scene. He's been in the scene for a minute. And um, he's a producer as well. So that was just our opportunity to just mix everything up and, um, you know, have something great for the fans. Okay. Hell yeah. Me and you got, like, something similar, but I feel like you, Thank you. yours is, a, 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 is, is bigger. Whenever someone passes away I here, like, for my crew, I made a record called Sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Which is about my, my father. But see you again... Is like the bigger version of that to me. Yeah. Right? Thanks. Um it, it's up there where uh, you know, what's 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 the Puff Daddy shit? Uh I miss missing you, you missing and you. Bone Thugs. Yeah, Crossroads. Crossroads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's like, one of my favorite songs ever. So, yeah, that's a big record. You know, I wanna be as careful as I can because we all know it's about Paul Walker, correct? Right. So, um, we know the you know how he passed away or whatever, but what made you wanna like create that type of type of record? I was brought into that. Um for Fast and Furious soundtrack? Yeah, for the Fast and Furious soundtrack. Okay. Kevin Weaver, right? Shout out to Kevin Weaver, man. Okay. Did me up. Huge solid. Uh they were coming up with the soundtrack. <coughs> I'd done one of the Fast and Furious soundtracks before. So you met Paul Walker. No, I didn't I didn't oh, meet Paul Walker. Wow. Nah, okay. nope. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had done one of the Fast and Furious soundtracks, uh, the movie before this one. I think it was on, this one was on nine. See You Again was on nine. So I think I did a song on Fast 8 and it performed really well. So they had the See You Again song. Um, the situation had happened, right? Yeah. It had happened. They filmed the movie and he was in a lot of the movie, but then the situation happened mid filming the movie so really? like the last yeah. scene of the movie they had planned it they were like this is the song that's gonna play in the last scene of this movie here you go buddy <laughs> write it I was like Shit. damn that's not a lot of shit. Not, <laughs> so they give you a skeleton under the beat the, they hook, had was the, the hook was already there Charlie oh, was there. singing the hook okay. and um, the idea behind the song was to have a lot of different artists on it right. so there was a little there was a little Wayne verse I think they had Chris Brown cut the hook as well. They had a lot of different artists on the song. Wow. And um, it just went through like a trimming and a shaving phase. And it just ended up being my verse on there with Charlie's hook. And they were like, we like this. It paints a, a perfect picture. Like you really tapped in because uh, you write another verse for it. I'm like, totally. So we all got in the studio. I sat there and wrote my verse. And we put the song out, and the first week it performed well. The video comes out, and then it just goes to number one. And it stayed at number one for, I think, 13 or 14 weeks. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, that was, like, my biggest record. And, right. hell, yeah, it was just a huge, huge fucking moment, yo. Because that's crazy that you have, like, some of the most beautiful records. Yeah. And then you got one record that's, like... Yeah. It makes everyone cry. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a blessing. Like, a lot of people don't know, I lost my brother as well. Oh, damn. And um, at that time, I, I knew he was going to pass because he passed from cancer and he decided not to get treatment. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I was dealing with that as well. So I was able to, you know, write real feelings. It wasn't just like I was just talking about. You tapped into that. You know what I'm saying? So there's real feelings in that song, and that's why people are able to connect with it because, uh, you know, that's going to last forever. Like, you know, sadly... Mm. Death is a part of life. It's fucking guaranteed. And, you know, people die every day. The most or, guaranteed You know what I'm saying? Count. People lose something or there's just hard shit to hold on to. And this song, it can help you get through it. It can help you deal with it. It can help yep. you, you know what I'm saying, remember that shit. So it's a it's a blessing more than anything to be able to be a part of those moments in people's lives. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. Then how about um Mac Miller? You know, I know you guys had a Oh, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. Rest, rest in peace, peace yeah. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. Um but you want to speak about anything like well, uh, Mac Miller and y'all, you guys' relationship? Yeah, Mac was a really good friend of mine. Super talented. Yeah, he was uh, hella talented. Man, hella talented. Represented Pittsburgh. I want to say he's from Pittsburgh. Yeah, right? represented the Berg tremendously, and um, just carved his own way. Like you know what I'm saying? He came. He came up at a time where 
everything was still finding directions. So it was like, you could be this or you could be that. But he made his own way. And uh, the way that his fans respect him and love him and people Thank you. cherish his music is uh, it's beautiful, man. They, the way that they keep him alive mm. and uh, and keep him going. And it's, it's super sad that what happened to him and uh, what it represented. Because I was talking to a, a, one of my homies the other day and he was just saying how for a whole era of people Max spoke to, you know what I'm saying? So like losing him, it's kind of like a lesson to them, but it, it, it's also like really sad that that's the way that they had to learn that. Right. Yeah. Well, where did you, you and Mac Miller meet? He's younger than me. So he went to my high school, but I didn't actually meet yeah, him. Same high school. Yeah, wow. yeah. I didn't actually meet him in high school. I met him at the studio, just like right. pulling up. I would be there with my homies, or I would go away for tour, and I would come back, and they would be in the front room making their little joints or uh, shooting videos or just running around the city, like you know what I'm saying. They kind of made a name for themselves, and that's how I got onto them. Was there ever any kind of competition being from the city? Nah, no, nah, hell all? nah. I think. It's always about embracing, like, right. especially the people who are coming up after you. Like, you have to embrace them and kind of just show them the right thing to do or how to do it or what right. it, what it, what a good example of that looks like. And then they're able to take it on their own and define it for what they want it to be. But to compete with them, like, that's not the yeah. wave. Like, hell no. Yeah. Never that. Yeah. Hell no. Now, um, <clears throat> recently, me and you spoke offline because we were both bringing our kids. So goddamn WrestleMania. That was dope. Did you yeah, end up going? I did not go. Damn, why didn't you go? You went. <laughs> no, I went to one of the kids, got them there. Oh, and the everything. kids went though. Yeah, the oh, kids oh, went. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. But um yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh but uh then I seen you there. I seen you there. Right. Um are you a wrestling fan? Yeah, yeah. Put us on. What is Snoop? Snoop was in it, right? Yeah, Snoop was actually. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Snoop went crazy. Yeah, yeah, Snoop was in there. Yeah, yeah, Snoop yeah, went nuts. yeah. Uh, shit. I used to watch. Well, I watched wrestling before it was WWE. I watched WWE. WWE. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. W when I was a kid, I was into it. Yeah, so I was like Stone the Hulk Cold, Hogan era, uh, the Roddy Roddy Piper, era. Junkie that's, that's my era. I'm a little younger than that. Yeah. That's my era. Not that old. Yeah. I'm the Giant. That's my I'm era. I'm like Undertaker, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's what yeah. Shawn Michaels, yeah. Shawn Bret Hart, Bret Hart. Like, uh, okay. uh, 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 Nation of Domination. That's after okay, me. I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah. growing up in the 80s. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 80s. Dude Love. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Sting. Uh, Sting. Uh, what was the Rick, uh, the Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Yeah, NWO. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Rick Rick Flair. Flair. Rick 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 but he He's came back. He came back. He did come back. He did come back. He came back. He's a super legend. Rick Flair out here smoking blunts on Mike Tyson. Super legend. There was hell in this. Hell in He was before WWF, Rick Flair. He was in the original. He was the first wrestling shit. Rolex wearing. Degeneration. Lemon drinking. Yeah. Private Jack, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, that's, uh, that's that's some rapper shit right there, Rick Flair. He was like, no, nah, Rick Rolex up. wearing, limo driving, mm -hmm. private jet flying. I was like, mm -hmm. what up? That's bars. Yeah, you know, you know what I seen Rick Flair at a at a insane cloud posse at the the gathering. You oh, ever yeah. played at the gathering of the Juggalos? No, I haven't. Yo, this shit is wild. Insane, and bro. he went on stage. I don't know. I think he was hosting. What he said? Woo! Yeah, but then you know, out there the the juggalos they throw uh, I don't know what the, that 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 bottle of it's yeah. like soda these big ass soda bottles yeah, I don't like what, it. is, what it's called out there I don't there. know either it, where are they from they from uh, Detroit They're right from Detroit yeah so they throw these big ass bottles at you but that's out of love out of love yeah. But he came back. He's like, "What the fuck is this? What the sh fuck is this? Throwing shit at me." <laughs> I, I was like, "Oh this. shit, that's Rick Flair." He was pissing the motherfucker though. Where's that's my Rick Flair story. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Wiz, let me ask you. Poor Rick. You think the wrestlers was on cocaine? Do I think the yeah. wrestlers were on cocaine? Yeah. I don't think I've pretty much heard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he said something going on. They wasn't smoking. Yeah, I, I heard yeah some, when you going, woo! I heard some not dark stuff. I've been a part of the, uh, of the. You have to do cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's so funny. Cocaine sponsor. They didn't know like the long term effects of it back then. Right. You no, know, they were right. still like in the middle of the experiment. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's some funny shit, man. <laughs> no, God damn, God damn. I'm gonna drink. Um, I'm taking a piss. <laughs> yeah, get off. Oh, get. You take one? Oh, no, nah, oh. you good. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a couple more. Ooh. Ooh. Go for it. With the sample, the trail. What's the sample? 
What's the name of the sample? Um, it's the it's it's. It, it, it. Come on, come on, pull it up. The, the Empire record. of the Sun. Yes, Empire of the Sun. No, no, I got it as. It's the thrill. Walking of the dream. Walking on the dream. Walking on the dream. Yeah, Empire of the Sun is the group. Oh, you see, you, see, you telling me he showing me. They from Australia. They hard. So you sampled this this record. Yeah. Now, for those that don't know, this is interpretation is different, right? Interpretation is where you can do someone's record over. Yeah. I not, don't know. And not pay them. No, interpolation is where you like yeah. replay it. Replay it. There you go. There's like certain notes that are different. Uh-huh. But this was like a whole flip. So what happened with this was, um, with the thrill in mm-hmm. particular, this was just like the mixtape era. And I went to a party and there was I was in Indy, Indiana, I think, and I had chilled with the with the guy who brought me out there. We he was well, I was at a college campus, mm-hmm. and I hung out with him the whole day. He was so cool. He took me shopping. We did the show. He was so professional. And as soon as the show was over, he started doing tons of coke. And everybody in the room was doing cocaine. I was like, what the fuck happened? Because y'all were fucking professional as hell earlier. I'm just smoking weed. <laughs> and everybody in the room is doing cocaine. And the Empire of the Sun song came on. And this dude was coked out of his mind. Not the promoter, but he was too. But look, he had a regular collared shirt on like yours. Damn. And when he started doing the coke, he flipped his collar up. So, yeah, that's who he turned into when he did it. Yeah, exactly. So he looked at me. He was like, bro, he was like, if if you rap over this song, you'll be the fucking man. And he was right, dog. (laughs) He was fucking right. I went home. I rapped over that shit, dog. I just took the beat and and looped it like right at the beginning. I just looped the part that I wanted because they didn't have the instrumental. And I just put that shit out. Like that was back in the day before you would get like sued. sued. For, you know what I mean? They wasn't right. really looking at this internet kid, right. you know, blah, blah, blah. But fast forward, I started doing hella shows off of that shit. And they were like, damn, you're making money off of our records. So they like made up this whole little rule where it was like, if you sample certain records, you can't perform them unless you get clearance from the artist, blah, blah, blah. That's that another thing. Because you're technically making money without clearing the record. I was making millions of fucking dollars traveling the world performing this song. And they're sitting at home like, that's our song. Like, it's damn, it's damn near bigger than our record. Like, what the fuck? We haven't even performed our song at that level. So eventually they just had to break bread. They was like, look, we'll just fucking make your version. Whatever your name of your song is, that'll be your version. And then we'll have our version. It's basically the same song, but I got my version and they got their version. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to keep you. Keep the collar flipped up, dog. I thought you keep yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought I heard it all. Yeah, Yo, yeah. that is crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. So, Miss. yeah because um, no, be, uh, he was saying like how he sampled this record. Like um, I don't know if you you remember, but L A L A and New York, New York, like we had to give a hundred percent rights to the Sugar Hill. Uh-huh. Like we couldn't, like as soon as they sued us, we just said yes, we mm-hmm. did sample you. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. we're caught. Yeah, yes, yeah. here you yeah, go. Yeah, we yeah. sampled it with with them. They worked with you. Yeah, hell yeah. That's well, kinda... you know you could do that. What you could negotiate those yeah. situations. We what were... happens is most of the time the artists don't ever even ask. Yeah, and then after the fact, they the publishers are coming and. and Grabbing their stuff, mm-hmm. right? So if you were to antici- like anticipate that situation, you could go and negotiate with the estate yeah. or with the artists and Hell whatever. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. and they might be. Usually, they're gonna be probably cool about yeah. it. And it works. With you. It works in everybody's yeah. favor when they are cool about it. Because <laughs> yeah. they start seeing how much money they could make, they'd be like, "Oh, all right, never mind. Let me just chill." Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody uh, wants to go to yeah. court and do all that crazy yeah. shit after the fact. And then, know? and then, especially with digital sales, they backdate everything. So that song was streaming for like ten years. Mm. So all of the the streams from 10 years get brought up now. So right. they're about to get a fat ass check from all of the shit that it already did just and, for and just for signing the, the paperwork. Yeah, for sure. Okay, got Yeah, it. hell yeah. Just for signing the paperwork, just for being like, all right, we cool with it. Jesus. Yeah, yep. This is Jesus Louise, Papa Cheese. So, oh, uh, fuck up. Yeah, because I, I was going to go in there. We talked about producers you would work with, but what about straight MCs you want to collaborate with? Or would you do ever do it? Actually, Never mind the collab. Would you ever do a joint album with someone and who would it be? 
A joint well, album. Well, you done with currency. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. currency. I'm down to do a joint album with anybody, man. Like, I feel like, bless you, I feel like anybody who I get in the room with and vibe with for like four days, we end up making like a little mini album anyway. Right. Uh, me and Cuddy been working back and forth uh, on some stuff. I could see us like, Ooh. you know, conti yeah. continuing our, our flow because it's very, very natural. And the, 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 the shit that we got is fucking heat. So yeah, we don't yeah. Why, why stop that? Yeah, you and Cuddy would be crazy. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. That would be fun. I mean, I think that's one of the illest things about you is you're melodic. Yeah, thank you. You, you know, when you like, you could rap, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you could also get into this melodic. Stage. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's what Cuddy is too. Mm -hmm. So I think that would you guys give that the beginnings of that melodic in in in, in rappers. To Bone Thugs and Harmony, one hundred percent. Okay, he's from he's from he's from Ohio. I'm from Pittsburgh. Definitely Bone Thugs and Harmony, one hundred percent. Because I don't think for we me, really that's, heard, that's, heard that much yeah, until them. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's my influence right. for sure. Right. Hell yeah! It was a it was a time right where I was just like in rap purgatory. You know what that means? Yeah, like you, I'm just in You're between just chilling. And I went to L. A. Yep. And I went to Alchemist House. Shout out Alchemist, such a yep. legend. We need you on, on drink. Alchemist, Alchemist was like, man, come outside. You know, I was, I was like, like if, if people don't know what purgatory is, it's, it's a state where you're not really between heaven and hell. Between and heaven and hell, but you're not really means. like you're just existing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just existing. It's not a Alchemist, fun place. Necessarily. And Alchemist said to me, and Kid Cudi had a show. Alchemist said to me, "Come out." This is when Kid Cudi is, you know. So I'm saying, ah, I'm not going to the shows. Those those type of people don't like me. You said that? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's, what, that's I thought. what you thought. That's what I thought. Right. Wiz Kayafa doesn't like it. AK <laughs> 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 Kayafa. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to speak to Kayafa. <laughs> 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 this is by the way, I brought it up for him to take the shots back at me. I want him up to get it back at me. But anyway. You got to do all your drops for the Wiz Kayafa. <laughs> so anyway, so I told Alchemist, I was like, nah, he's like, yo. Like, you had something to do with putting on Pharrell. Pharrell is like the godfather of this, like, hipster scene. I didn't yep. really know what, I don't want to call the hipsters. I, I said that. Well, now, it's fine. It's not, it's, cool. it's not racist. It's not racist. It's, right, cool. not, it's not derogatory. It's cool. it's cool, bro. So, I remember We're going hipsters. to this Kid Cudi concert. Not a concert, it was a show in LA. Somewhere and I walked in and I'm, I'm trying to be incognito. I got a ski hat on in LA. A ski hat? A ski on? hat, yeah, like a giant ski hat. Like they like they didn't know I was from New York. You know what I'm saying? I sit there and Kid Cudi see me on stage. It was like, Nori, come up here. And it was crazy because I didn't realize Alchemist had already told told him he's bringing me there. Mm -hmm. So he had my records and when I performed for these kids and I was just like, I had didn't know that. My records resonated with them. Yeah. Because, and it was like. You that, even got a TikTok song now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's still resonating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's still. But. That, that, that wasn't the same time we did the MERS show, was it? That was that, actually that Alchemist the Alchemist was DJing show, for you. No, no, actually, the MERS show, that's the reason why I came back to Alchemist because Alchemist, that was two weeks before. Right. So it was like something like this. Which, look, this is, shows you how dope Alchemist is, how humble he is. Yeah. He's, he's such a legend and he's. He still loves you so much. He's gonna yeah. come spin for you just off, just to like, do it. I didn't. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, what is that shit called? Confident. Mm. You know, like I said, in purgatory, it comes a time where I don't give a fuck how much music you made. I don't care fuck how much platinum you went, how much records you and Pharrell made. They're just gonna get tired of you. Mm. That's just how, that's just how this music business is. And then you have to find something to transition to something else. But in that in that moment. I just wasn't confident, and, and Alchemist was the one, and because of Kid Cudi. I bring that up because of Kid Cudi. Sweet, man. Yes, yes. Goddamn. Goddamn. Shout out to Cudi. So, what, what, what do you out like? To you for getting your swagger back. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like more? Making the record or performing the record? I don't like either one Jesus. more or less. No, oh. no, damn. I, thought it, I, thought it I don't like oh, more equally. or less. I'll take like, a shot for that. Yeah. Your career I'll take a shot for that. I'll take yeah. a shot. No, I love creating it because it's so fun to just have this idea that doesn't exist and to make it real. Right. And That's I love true. performing it because you're doing the same thing. You're making people believe in some shit right. that, on, that you create, that only you, you know what right. I'm saying? And then it starts to like... Chico. Uh, it starts to like develop into this like 
experiment where it's like I'm playing with people where it's right. like I'm in the studio like I, oh I know they're gonna go crazy for this right. and then they actually do I'm like what the fuck like right. it, it works like you know what hey, I mean like, Check this out. I just made this shit yeah, up it's, a, <laughs> uh, it's like magic like you know what I'm saying that's, that's, that's crazy right? <laughs> it's fun as yeah. hell it's so fun I get a kick out of that shit and you know I feel like the people they get a sense of that too they're like this dude is having a good time with right. us like you know what I mean so um, I, I, I enjoy both I enjoy the experience of both. I love performing brand new records. I love right. performing hits, songs that are out for freaking 10, 12, 13 years. I love doing all that shit, yo. Thank you. I'm going to take a shot, but then I got to ask you about that brand new record shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Get that uka in. Brand new records are the toughest thing to perform. So where where you saying you like to perform this at? In like intimate situations? Nah. He said anywhere. It feels like, like I perform a brand new record at a festival, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Three verses. Let's go. Y'all gonna listen to this whole song. That's what music is, man. It's making people believe. Are you looking for something specific when you do that new record to that audience? Are you with I know if I, if I make this song in a room and it's just me, and if I can make it go crazy... I know a million people or however many people, I'm imagining a million. It's probably 50,000, 60 or whatever. I know I can make y'all go crazy if I can make a room full of nobody go crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can but feel that you same in the studio, energy. That, that's your homies though. No, nah, my homies ain't there. It's just me. Oh, I, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm not talking to no nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm mapping this shit out in my head. Right. Like, what feels good and what doesn't? What would embarrass me if I was in front of 100,000 people? That shit is still embarrassing if I'm sitting there by myself. Right, right. You dig what I'm saying? I don't got to go out there You feel there like to you got a good gauge of it while you're listening I to it. I know I do. I right. got a great taste. I got great timing. I'm confident in all of that shit. Like I said, I'm just experimenting on people, but I know I'm coming up with the fucking game plan right then and there. So if I say it in a song or if I map it out for the song to lead up into this, you're going to do a certain thing when it comes on. I'm just walking you into it. So when I do it on stage, I'm just doing what I already knew was going to happen. I'm just trying it out on y'all and it works. And it's like, oh, okay, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, hell yeah. But that's what music is. That's why I enjoy different genres of music. A lot of people get so caught up on like listening to their favorite rap song or their most nostalgic song. They don't put on shit that they never heard before. And they don't understand how to, you know, uh, go through the music and learn the sequencing and why you actually like a song or why right. you know the lyrics to a song. And that's why country music and pop music is so, you know what I mean, easy to catch on to because they write the lyrics to where you can learn the hook and the pre-hook as you're listening to it. So before the song is even over, you know the whole motherfucking song. You right. might want to hear that bitch again or... By the time you hear it again, you know how to sing it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a great performance is. Yeah. To me, if I could show up and I've, I don't even know the band or know the lyrics to the song and I end up liking it, end up singing it, that's a great song. You dig what I'm saying? And that's what I bring with my music. That's what I bring with my performance. And that's why I'm so confident to perform a song that nobody ever heard for the first time in front of 50,000. Goddamn, make some noise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What, what country that you performed at were you most surprised at? at China. That? China. Yeah. What part of China you went to? Nigga, China, China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that part of China. You was in China. They, were, they, they, they ain't speaking no English yeah. over there. They yeah. were singing that shit, dog. Yeah. That yeah. must have been a sea of people. Because I, I can't imagine. sing in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe you do. I can't. Chinese. But like, I'm like, damn, like. Maybe I should learn one of y'all songs. Right. The way y'all singing my shit. Which would be the ill thing for a lot of artists to do. Yeah. Because it we, made me think. We don't ever do that for them. They, Bro, we're so American. We're out of the country we're and just they speak like, English. Yeah. But we don't speak none of their languages. Fuck no, we don't even try. <laughs> no. like, you don't speak English? They're like, like nah, we mad. Like, we don't speak English in this song. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah, hell no. Nah. No sleep. What's up? Did you get no sleep making that record? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was a crazy time too Pretty much the whole time I did Rolling Papers I was just partying my ass off Right um, And yeah so I got in the studio with Benny Blanco He's cool as hell uh, At the time he wasn't I don't even think he was wearing shoes <laughs> I wanted to say not not sneakers But like I don't think he was wearing shoes at all No socks neither Just Toes out. I, I I fucked with it heavy. It was cool. He taught you. 
<laughs> nah, <'cause laughs> if I would have learned from him, I'd have moisturized my damn toes before I put him out there. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, I like that. Um, so yeah, nah, he was he's super cool. We vibed like as soon as we as soon as we met each other, mm-hmm. and um, that was another song that was more crossover. Mm-hmm. Because the beat kind of sounded like alternative, like rock and roll to right. me. But I like that type of shit. That's what I came up on. Like, right. so I wanted to write like a, you know, my own kind of college red cup anthem. Right. And uh, that's red what, pop. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what No Sleep was, and it, it did really well. The, the video did well. The, the song ended up going platinum. Um, it was another song on, on off of Rolling Papers that you know if I perform it now, people just it's like hell and nostalgic for them. Like they remember the moment that shit dropped. Which is really cool to have them type of records, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You ever fuck with the Beach Boys? The nah, Beach that was funny when you said that at yeah, the beginning. The that I got a Beach Boys would vibe. It be nice that would be if okay. you sampled something and involved them. In I don't way. know about sampled. I would put them in the studio. Like, I would saying, just like, straight up work with them niggas, yo. Like, do something completely yeah, brand new. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, are they all alive? I don't know. I'm fucking I assume I'm, they're alive. They seem, they seem nah, pretty healthy. One of the yeah. dudes passed away? Nah, they nah. seem pretty healthy, bro. You ever saw that movie? The movie about the one dude from the Beach Boys? That no, what movie? Really? No, it's just wild. It's just I, I'm not really? even talking about it. I don't oh, want to fuck it up. Was that the one like his dad was like? Yeah, it's all fucked up. It's was all that, fucked what? up. Is that the same fucked up? What are we talking story about? Yeah, man, yeah. I'm a Beach Boy guy. Wait a minute. You don't know the Beach Boy story? I just know this music. The dude, the main, like the dude who like don't wrote tell most me of the was, music. He was what? I, no, I'm not, I, can't, I don't remember, so I don't fuck it up. I right think now. we fucking thinking yeah. about the same fucked up ass shit. It's fucked up. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's not crazy. Fu- it's fucked up. It's, it's fucked, fucked up. up. It's yeah, fucked up. Yeah, yeah, the Beach up. Boys. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like it's some dark shit. Yes, yeah. It's super yeah, dark shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere I go, I, I play. When I go to Ireland, that's why they had to the make that boys. happy ass music, bro. Yeah, yo, that's crazy. Yeah. You gotta watch. Yeah. You have never seen the movie? Yeah, no. Oh, you gotta see that movie. Huh? Oh my God! What'd you he say? fucking knows what it is. Yeah, that movie. Not Lord have mercy. Oh God! Not Lord have mercy. That Love movie. And mercy. That movie is <laughs> mercy. Love and mercy. That movie oh is crazy. Gosh. You gotta yeah. watch that shit. It's called Love and Mercy. It's dark. It's fuck. About the Beach Boys. About yeah, and the main dude. Like, he's right one now. of the main dudes that wrote a lot of the music. Yeah, so I'm oh. actually not a Beach Boy. Oh, wait. But, <laughs> oh, <holy> shit. <laughs> but the inspiration. You yeah, know, yeah, we'll no, go off the inspo. <laughs> yeah, Did, didn't you live somewhere else, like you internationally? Like your parents yeah, were in yeah. the military? My or parents were definitely in the military. Uh, I was born in North Dakota. Uh, oh, that's Ill. Yeah, I lived in Japan. I that lived really in... exists? North and South Dakota? Yes, of course. This nigga said it really exists. <laughs> I thought they just made that up. I've been in North Dakota. Make sure the map, you know what I mean? Like that. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I'm fucking with yes, you. it exists, sir. <laughs> you don't remember that movie? But they maybe shouldn't have two. They should just make it one Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> they got uh, Mexico and New Mexico. Yeah. Right. Well, no, but that's country and that's South and North Carolina. yeah, that, no, that's a country. They got South and North that's a, and that's a state. That's yeah, that's, <laughs> he the one who brought the um the. the but wind, yeah, the I was born issues. in North Dakota. I lived in Japan. I lived in Oklahoma. I lived in Germany. I think I saw Germany, something. Germany. I lived in fucking South Carolina. I like lived. years you remember, like memorable years that you remember these places. Yeah, yeah, these, yeah. I would live there cultures. for like maybe a year or two at a time. What what so, branch of military was your? your they family? were in the Air Force. Oh, yeah. so you definitely moving around. Like, yeah, so that was all the way up to I was like 13 years old. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you you got something from all these places. Yeah, hell yeah. You think well, that informs your music today at all? That's nah, why you make really global anthem. No, nah, not really it. the music. No, nah, I wouldn't even say that. My dad really like influenced my music just by listening to a bunch of records in the house when I was young. I have like a really good musical palette. Like he would listen to disco. He would listen to Bob Marley. He would listen to hip hop. He would listen to... Patty LaBelle, you listen to Sade, you, can't like, you know what I'm saying? You listen to Troop, you listen to fucking my mom. I mean, my dad listened to everything, and my mom she listened to more like hardcore rap shit. So that's why I started listening to like Doggy Style. Your mom was more hardcore rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. She was more like DJ Quick, Doggy Style. Oh shit, AMG and yeah, shit. Yeah, like she listened to Outkast real heavy too. That, I go to Mama West. My mom's the one who smoked weed, so she was like Eric Badu and like all of that shit. So like, yeah, that's where I got my musical background from. I think moving around just helped me deal with people. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I was always the new kid at school, so I always had to kind of like assert myself or just be myself. You know what I mean? And it just helped me like deal with different crowds of people. I could I could get down with anybody. It don't matter what race, uh, what your background is, you what your age all. is. Like, yeah, I, I I I'm I fuck with everybody. I've been around everybody. I know everybody's family, so it's like yeah. I'm cool with everybody. 
Nah, that's some global shit. Yeah, yeah. Literally, global yeah, shit. Yeah, real shit. <laughs> real and and your father didn't smoke, just, just moms? Nah, my dad don't smoke weed. Okay. He'll he'll hit a little bit of weed here and there, but coming up for sure, my mom is the the All weed right. head. All right. Yeah. Listening to gangster rap. Yeah, yeah, for sure. One hundred percent. I'm gonna take another shot. Let's go. Let's take it. I'm, I'm gonna take another shot, man. Where's like I said, man? Our show is about giving people their flowers. You definitely deserve your flowers. You a legend. Thanks, dude. You out here. Doing this shit, having fun, to, mm-hmm. continue to be an inspiration to me. Like I, I, I love watching you. I love continue to see you have success and continue to um, be happy. Thanks. That's it's, it's a, it's a actual uh, something we should all salute. Nah, for you know real. I mean, because this game is a roller coaster. Like you know, being a rapper, we can't have a bad day. If you, you want to have a bad day and you come outside, it's always somebody that want to take a picture. It's always somebody that want to, you know, have a hug or whatever. So. You know, I know how hard it is to be famous and to maintain this and to maintain, you know, being level-headed. So I just want to commend you, salute you. Thank you. And tell you, we love you and respect you over here. Salud. Cheers. I'm drinking all this goddamn Japanese whiskey. (sighs) Japanese whiskey? Shout out to Uka. Excuse me. (laughs) I was drinking this Japanese Deleon. But Deleon. You You know, black people own tequila. Yeah. And you own goddamn mm-hmm. gin. Gin. Yep. So why you ain't drinking your own shit? You got to ask. I don't drink alcohol. Hey, hey he being yeah. real. Edit honest. this part out. <laughs> edit this part out. We want you to sell your shit. I don't care. I don't have to He's drink it to sell yeah, it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gin drinker out there waiting to drink yeah, it. Yeah, 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 for sure. Sonny, you ain't going to take a sip? Go take right a, now, right now. <laughs> come on, man. He was like, edit that out. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, we can't have people. Take, come on. We sunny, want you to take sunny, 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 sunny. Yeah. yeah. You mixing the fuck out of your drink, Pop son. Not the infused? What is not infused? There's, There's no infused right shit right here. Right? Okay, they all ready. Yeah, he's all right. Jamie, we got... Cra- uh, we got no, no, we can't ask for all great kinds great of shit right now. Great yeah. food. You want to shake it for you? You want to shake it? Wiz don't want you mixing his shit up. Wiz wants you taking his shit straight up. Yeah, we want you to do the palate thing. My yeah. hands are cold, so they're not working yeah. right now. Don't yeah. worry, don't my head is it's like Kill Bill oh, right now. And oh my goodness! Yeah, see, <laughs> look, let, let you know it's dummy proof. Don't drop it like Boris. Yeah, Give me yeah, yeah. Give me you got this, a there. Yep, my hand just don't work. I gotta put my hand on here. There we go. And then I'm gonna make a drink. And I'm gonna keep drinking it. I feel like Boris, you should have a have a have a shot too. You have to because of uh, dropping the joint. Yeah. Boris, Boris, yeah. Boris, 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 AK Papote. Well, I hit that. You guys can tell who I was at the party, right? I'm going back on three. I'm going back on three on the Uga. You was the bad influence. That's why. Have fun. Good influence, bad influence. Exactly. So go and relax. Snoop called me Snoop called call me peer pressure. He's oh, like, that's shit. your nickname. Damn, okay. that's, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a that's a great way to okay, try. Look at Paul, Paul Brunner, look at here. That's a big show Paul, on the Paul. Paul, 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 Oh, that shot is yeah. crazy. This shot is crazy too, bro. Yo, you better kill me, bro. Yo, and Yo Wiz, I like I like what you just did. Like let's let's just... get a, let's get an yeah. honest, good critique. Good. Go ahead, go ahead, Sonny. Thank you, because I'm waiting for the smooth, face, and the smooth. face never no, happens. Sonny didn't even make a face. No, he didn't make a face. Yeah. Super smooth because I used to drink Bombay every day. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. In Bombay. Uh-huh. In Bombay. No, I, like, I, like, oh. I like what Wiz did. You were like this. Right? We was toasting. Yeah. That's yeah. a new shit. If you don't want to drink, you yep. do like this with your blunt. International, right. I don't drink, but I smoke. Mm-hmm. So, so, Sonny, you didn't finish. So, so give us the crisp feeling. What's the flavor? Flavor palette? Yes. Yeah. Bomb. Bomb. Bombay. The drink champs have spoken. Yes. But is this is the this champions true? of drink? Or, is this true? Thank you. That you deter you declined to go on a tour with Drake? That was a long time ago, too. Yeah. What, Do you what, regret what it? What was that? No, I don't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> My thing. <laughs> Unanimous. I love, I, love no, I, love I love this guy. I'm such like a uh oh, shit. I don't know. I think the word that they that people use is stubborn. All right. But when I have a vision and I see things going a certain way, I see it all the way through. Right. And at that point in my career, I was 
right there. And then all of these certain things just started coming out of the woodwork that could have deterred me from what I was naturally and evenly doing. And I just had to respectfully decline. And that's the thing that I, a lot of people don't see happen right. is somebody stand up for themselves and respectfully decline. I respectfully said no to that. I respectfully said no when Rick Ross tried to sign me to Maybach, Maybach Music right. as well. There were a lot of other situations where I was like, I, I'm doing my thing. I'm Taylor Gang. I'm Wiz Khalifa. I don't want to fucking step on your toes because you're going to be pissed at me when you see how hard I'm going about myself. So I might as well just stick it out and give you this real ass answer. Right, right. That's all I did. And be allies at it. I mean, right, hell right, yeah. Right. We'll be cool afterwards. You know right. what I'm saying? Hopefully, like, yeah, for sure. But like, I'm going to be 100 though. And that's all that was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't see your vision through and you 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 give up, you abandon your yeah, vision. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're never gonna forgive yourself. You're never gonna forgive yourself. Wait, no, no, you no. gotta like you gotta stand on it. Like right. you know what I'm saying? It's a hard decision to make. Yeah, no, it because is, it you is. get you get all of these things that are they're, they're so shiny and they look so cool, but you gotta like stay stay focused. Focus, right? Yeah, yep. That's crazy. Yeah, September eighth. Yeah, September eighth. September sixth. Oh yeah, so we act the same. Come on, sure. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Yeah, Foxy's is the September 6th. Yeah. I believe Beyonce's the 4th. The 4th, yeah. Michael Jackson's in there. Michael, Michael Jackson's, Jackson's a Virgo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like the... He's exactly. Like, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You don't dance nothing like him. <laughs> Michael Jackson's in there. Kobe, Kobe's in there. Who else? Nah. You said Hove? Nah. Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nas, should have, oh, wait, Nas is a Virgo. We know that. I should have yeah. knew Kobe was a Virgo. I did a record with Kobe, and I went to the studio, and I wrote the rhyme for him, and he was like, you ain't writing my rhyme. Yeah. And I was like, wow, he yeah. really went in the bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Virgo boys. Yeah, Virgo boys. Wow. God damn it. Nope. I'm wow. not answering that question. <laughs> not answering or asking it? I'm not asking that question. Who asking. sent you that question? Sonny D. I want to know what it is. No. Yeah, why don't you ask? Why don't yeah, you ask? go ahead. Sonny, 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 Sonny. No, I said, why don't you ask Sonny D? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Amber Rose is so good with us. We could tell Virgos. Oh. That's my sister. I look at her like my sister. Oh, that's it's not a bad question. No, I, I read it wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> How did you read that, bro? I don't know. I, I just didn't sound good when I read it. Huh? always talks. Where's? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love that. I love that. You know, I, I, I brag about y'all sometimes. Yeah, I brag about y'all sometimes. Hell like, yeah. hell yeah. Like I brag about y'all sometimes when I, when like I see people like you know going through certain things, and I'm like, look look how they took the amical back route. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah. And look how they both. Hell yeah. You know what I'm so I brag about y'all so sometimes. Yeah, we're like the ideal. Uh, Couple, <laughs> right, right, right. even though we're not together. Yeah, yeah, don't you mean? It's like we 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 share the most beautiful thing in life. We have a kid. Right. We got great memories. Mm -hmm. uh, we were married, yeah. so everything we did was out of like Damn, pure, a lot of people was pure love. Right. You know like, what I'm saying? Went, we planned on legit. being with each other right. forever. You know what right. I'm saying? Well. But um, you know that shit gets difficult, and I think with marriage, like legal marriage, <clears throat> it kind of sucks because. That has to be the end of something when that's over. Mm -hmm. But I think we're proving that it's not the end of everything. Like, even when that legal shit is over, you know what I mean? Like, I got her back. She knows it. Right. She got my back. I know it. Yeah. And we do a great job, you know, being there for our kid. We do so many things for Sebastian. And not even just for him, but we just, we're such a good unit for him that I didn't see growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, my parents, they weren't able to function as well as, you know what I'm saying, her parents either. I think just that generation of dysfunction, yeah, they, they didn't, they don't, they, there was no come together. There was right. no holidays. There was no, uh, 
uh, birthdays together. There was no. It was, it was like it was all anger. It was yo, that bitch is by my right. son. Yeah. Why that nigga nah, over I'm there? Right. It was just real dysfunctional. You know what I'm saying? Both, like that's I what love, we grew up seeing. I love seeing Bash's birthday. All oh, y'all celebrate. Yeah, we do and, things and together. We, together. We, yeah, I love he it. gets to enjoy both of us together. Yeah, he doesn't dope. see us separately. You know what I mean? And that's yeah, 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 hell yeah, hell yeah. That's, that's really important. My parents were divorced since I was two, and I had both of them in my life. Very important. Wow. Both of them in my life. Love my mother, love my dad, but they are dysfunctional as fuck. Can't be in the same room together, right. and that's not good for a kid. Like, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's not their fault because they probably didn't grow up seeing the best functioning anything, but we got to break that, and we got to be yeah, gotta better cycle. Yeah. for our fucking kids. So there's a lot... You know what I mean? There's a lot that we do just to be like, not just to be, but it's it's natural where it's like, yo, this man needs to see, uh, you know, his father treat his mother good. She, he needs to hear his mother say great thing about things about his father. Like that's important, you know, like for real. For no, nah, that's a beautiful thing. Hell yeah, y'all both, and um, that's a beautiful thing. Hell yeah, that, what y'all Very doing important. is Hell yeah. is dope. And like like I said, like on the sideline, because you know I know her, I know you. And I, and I see how y'all get along. I, I always tell like my homies when I see somebody doing something like, look, when they're in the public's eye, yeah, yeah, yeah. how could you not get along? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you it, it takes a lot though. Like you got to really not be a fucking asshole. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. a lot of people are like putting up a front for cameras, right. and they'll you know they'll be fucking Superman when the camera comes on and be a piece of shit behind closed doors. Right. We ride for each other behind closed doors. There's nobody who can come in between us. Not even our parents. Right. Nobody. We started our world together, and that's what we live in, and that's how we rock, and that's how we stay on the Did same. Did you guys page. speak on that though? When breaking up no we got to that point um you know the relationship it put a strain on us and it i think it just brought out the best in us it, it, it kind of forced us to look at ourselves and what we bring to the table and moving forward i feel like we both really want love and companionship so the the people that we're going to be with they have to deserve us so really? we're making ourselves better for the people who are around us and in turn, we're going to treat each other the best ever because we're just doing all of this work. And other people might not get us on the outside, but we've been through enough together. And that's the thing, too, is like time helps and heals everything. So right. you can go through a situation one year and then, you know, six or seven years later, that shit don't even matter. But you have to be the bigger person and you have to grow and you have to, you know, really communicate and want to be on the same page as somebody. And a lot of people, they have, you know, certain shit that they need to go through. I'm lucky to have a person who's as thoughtful as she is. She's lucky to be with me as caring and as compassionate as I am. You know what I mean? So we're we're really fortunate to have each other. And I, I'd imagine your son made you guys better people as well. Yeah, 100%, man. Hell yeah. I feel like she was already dope as fuck, honestly. I, I had to grow oh, up. One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. She was she was always cool as hell. I need I needed to grow my ass up. Yeah. That's honest, man. Not nah, for real. Hell Love yeah. that honesty. Man, Wiz, man. Um like I said, our show is about giving flowers, man. Um, I'm so proud to give you your flowers. Hell yeah, man. thank you, man. I really, yeah, thank I really, you for joining man, us, man. man. You're really a full fledged legend out here. Um stood the test of time. You out here being the happiest. I love that, man. Hell I love yeah. I love I love watching you. And just, you know, probably for the last question, um, there's no beef with you and Gillian Wallow. Y'all right? uh -uh. good. Okay. No, nah, I wish nothing but the best from the, for those dudes. For Gillian Wallow, I'm not going to say those dudes because that right. could be it, like... It seems it, like you... It, not, it, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, he said them. No, nah, Gillian Wallow, like, even with that situation, I never really, really spoke on it mm -hmm. in detail because mm -hmm. I wasn't at that space. But um, it just didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. Um even with it being a misunderstanding uh, with with the, the message, mm -hmm. um, because with him making the joke, that, that wasn't the thing that really caught me off guard. Okay. Um, it was more about him using his platform to downplay me, mm -hmm. and I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. If we're in a room together and you make a joke about my shorts, mm -hmm. I'm fine with that, Like mm -hmm. because I can defend myself. Mm -hmm. But if you go on your platform and you say, I'm unfollowing Wiz because of this reason, 
you're low key telling your followers to do the same thing, mm. and that's not what we out here doing. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Go tell them to buy my shit or mm. say something dope that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Promote me or help me out because that's what I'm gonna do for you. Mm. I understand it because we all from the hood and that's what niggas do and blah blah blah. But you're supposed to be better than that. Mm. So I responded in my own way of you know defending myself and it went to a certain extent where I'm pretty sure a lot of my fans like reported him mm -hmm. and got his shit taken down. I didn't do it personally. Mm -hmm. I would never do that to anybody because that's not my style. It's easy to go on the internet and paint that picture. Mm -hmm. And that's more or less what he did. And that's what I didn't appreciate as well. Mm -hmm. And I tried to call him and I reached out to him personally. Um, and the conversation didn't go how I wanted it to go. He called me all types of names, like, out of my name, which I didn't expect. He said a bunch of stuff, like, real fighting words, which I didn't expect, because that's not how he acts when he's on the internet. So when I'm trying to have a man-to-man -man conversation with you, why are you acting like this with me now? I'm not coming at you trying to be tough. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to let you know that I didn't get your page deactivated and that we need to settle this in a better way than you doing it the way that you're doing. Uh, I got on the phone with Wallow. I was able to talk to him mm -hmm. in a sensible manner because that's the only way that I want to have a conversation. I don't want to have a conversation mm. with the names that was going around, like mm -hmm. what, was, what was being said. Me and Wallow's conversation was cool, but then Gilly went on the internet and was saying stuff that was completely 180 of what happened. No. And I don't respect that. Right. Me and them never had to, got a chance to have a conversation after that. I'm willing to just squash it and let it go. Mm -hmm. But that's the real situation. That's what happened. It was a bunch of lies. It was a bunch of me trying to be cool, getting called out of my name. And I'm still at the position where it's like, all right, I could just let it go. Or, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to, you know what I mean? shit on nobody's platform or nothing like that. They're doing their thing. I don't have any hard feelings towards them. I don't have any hard feelings towards anybody who I love and comes in contact with them and is cool. You don't got to pick sides with me. Right. Like, I want everybody to get along. I just want the same respect. And I really wasn't dealt that hand, but it's cool. I'm willing to let it go. Like, I ain't tripping off that shit. I, I think I think that's warranted. Yeah, I, I think it's yeah, legendary. Yep. Yeah, I think that's legendary. <laughs> And I, and, I, and I think they'll see this and reach out. Yeah, from our interact, they're yeah. good dudes. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. 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 Y'all good, good, man. Good I'm, I'm always down to just shake hands, let it go. It's a beautiful thing. We got way more important stuff to be worried about, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, we got to stop with all this And hopefully, like, just moving forward, like, you'll be able to deal with situations better than that, like, because I'm a cool dude. Like, you don't got to get like that. Or the same image that you portray really be about that in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to influence people to take a better route, but you're not necessarily taking that route. And, you know, you, it is what it is. Right. Yeah, yeah. We could all be better. Just yeah, put it that yeah, way. We, we, we. And we're all going to try to be better. <laughs> right, right, right. How about that? I'm going to take some more. Uka. It should inspire everybody. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take some more. <laughs> you're going to Uka the fuck out right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. Uka out. <laughs> you can Uka out. I'm, I'm Uka throughout my hands and my toes. You Uka Uka right now. Yeah, Uka 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 Umba Loopa. <laughs> I'm doing it. Cool. Can, I, can I use to take a bathroom break? Yeah, you no, I'm going to take another break. bathroom and break. And that's it. We got like five more minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bathroom break ass motherfucker. And like that gun up. Oh. Yeah. Um, what happened? It's done? You're not going to light it with what? Cereal milk is good weed. What are you not going to light it with? I'm going to, when I smoke this haze, I'm going to smoke it on IG. I might smoke the whole thing yeah, live or I might just put it on my story. So then why you saying that don't live on Instagram. And I'm going to listen to Purple Haze. I'm going to put Cameron's album on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put purple haze on. I'm gonna roll up a fat ass joint and some haze. I'm be like, with the goons, I spar, stay in tune with Ma. She like, damn, this is a real sense, kumbaya. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Yo, Wiz, is this your first time smoking the uka? Is this yes. Your first? Like I said, um, I'm used to the the volcano, like where you gotta fucking heat it up with the nah, bag, with a plastic bag. bag. Yeah, 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 it's the same vibe, but it's like the hookah version, and it's got water. It's clean. So it's yeah. Like, now you're gonna take clean. this home. You're gonna see it's a whole, whole uh, different technology bro, right it here, man. It looks like a it looks like a uh, like an air freshener, like like it's. Ooh, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, yeah, or yeah. humidifier. Like, okay, you know, humidifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, going to yeah, have yeah, all yeah. that, too. Yeah, humidifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I had the volcano, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I had the original one with the bag just blow up like that. Yeah, that's where all, like, the, the G-Pin and shit like that, that's where the, 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 the vapes come from. But those aren't, like, real vapes because they use coils and shit. Right. They be, like, heating it up hella. Like, this is way better for you, like, yeah, you know nah, what I mean? Healthy, yeah, yeah. And that, yeah. love how you killed that. You yeah, broke that down. Yeah, yeah. I love how you sure. break shit down like a science. It's true. It's a science because you're putting smoke in your body, so you got to be careful, like, how you do it. You got to right? be mindful, you know yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas be taking dabs and they be heating them shits up too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to do low temp, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Let it bubble, get the high taste, you know what I'm saying? So you ain't fucking yourself up. You don't Real remember shit. when don't Dabs first came out? They had the blowtorch. I knew oh, you that still wasn't use right. The torch. You still use That's the torch. That's not right. You still use the torch. Blow torch? You still use you the torch. You can still control the time. But yeah. why? Well, I mean, that's the only way to pause, get it hot enough. Yeah, yeah. You had to pause that? I mean, I'm in, from a different generation. We play pause a little bit different than y'all do. It's fun, though. Pause. Now, one of the, <laughs> one of the things that I, I go through is uh, the discography, and I go through, look, give it from him. Look. He is the smoke, one man. dude that shouldn't have the joint. Let him smoke. He got him. <laughs> he got a police cut. He going to wake up different. <laughs> and he going to blame Khalifa Kush. He going to be like, man, that's he that KK. He do a piss test that's tomorrow. That's that KK. Fuck it. Nah, they don't piss no, no, test no. for weed no more. Yeah. KKK. Oh. Don't add don't add to Canada. Don't add to Canada. Don't add to Canada. Don't get the ass too. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna take it back. Now, <laughs> yeah. Now one of the now one of the things that comes up about you is your love for Max B. Yeah, Big Avell. Big Avell. Shout out to Big Avell, man. This is Oh shit, that is smoky. Oh yeah, baby. It doesn't work. Four twenty. God damn. I feel like I'm inside a joint right now. Oh, I can't even see you, bro. I am Drink a joint. Yes. You, yes. you're the ghost right now. It's like Batman just came yes, through here. Yes, yes, yes. That's God a damn. picture right there. Oh, man, that's that's got to be like history right now. Yes, yes, that's yes. hard. Y'all yes, didn't even yes. do this to Snoop because Snoop don't play that shit. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. We Hell no. Nah. Not disrespect. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Snoop don't play no, that no, shit. No, no. But we did it to Khaled. He ran. Snoop did not but play no, that it, shit. It, 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 Somebody did. Be real would be it. down. No, be real was here. We, I think we did oh, it. Okay, be real. Yeah. Happy would be real. Oh, okay, be real would be down. He's with all the smoking antics. Shout out. Yeah, he's he's a yeah. Dr. Green Dumb's with all the smoking antics. This new generation. Not Snoop, not not anybody. Is there any young dude? <laughs> that go ahead, go ahead. No, ask the up? question. Go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. The, ask the question. I love the confidence. Ask the question. Is there any young dude out here coming up that that can that can smoke with you? They can do ten ukas. Okay. Absolutely not. Only by, only person. <laughs> Only person I think that can hang with me, and I probably haven't even smoked with this fool yet, but I already smoked hella dope. It's Chief Keef. Oh, Chief Keef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put Sosa up there because I heard it. <laughs> and when you're in these streets, you hear some shit. Right, right. Everybody else, no. Don't even let them. Don't let them try to fool you. And they'll, nah, they wouldn't even try. They wouldn't even, I don't even think they would say anything like, oh, yeah, I can hang with it. No, hell no. Absolutely not. I don't even think they're trying to, like, right. honestly. Like, they're doing other drugs. They're not trying to, like, smoke weed. We need more people to, like, Mm-hmm. Smoke a ton of pot and just buy ounces of weed and just listen to music and be cool and ride around with their friends and get girls. Right. I like Lil Tyler. Yeah. Lil Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all heard of Lil Tyler, I like. Yeah. Nah, no. Lil Tyler. Tyler creator hard though. No. Yeah, Lil Tyler hard though. Yeah. yeah. They say you spend over thirty thousand on weed a month. No, that was uh, one particular year. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down or you caught, you went back up? No, it's probably more, but I grow it. Yeah, I mean, that, I, that seemed like yeah, a low yeah, number to be yeah, honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I grow it, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it, it evens out. Okay. Yeah. Humboldt County? Um, There's just multiple places now. Okay. Yeah, it's all over the place, right. bro. It's just like wherever I like land, bro. Yeah, you, you, you it's all right. over the fucking it's place. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. It is. It's, it's, it's right outside. Right like, outside. It's just growing. Goddamn. Or do you like, this is back, back then, people just come to Florida and complain about Florida weed. Hey, relax, buddy. I said Florida. I ain't say Miami. Oh, okay. I ain't say Miami. <laughs> It is. Real. What is, has been your, yeah, we, we, we established that earlier. Uh, I don't know what my, show you was at. Uh, weed, weed in Florida, everywhere has decent weed. It just depends on who you know. You're lucky you knew me at the time. Cali is the best <laughs> weed in the world, sir. The best in the world. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, man, calm North, down. Northern Cali, to be exact. In the, in the Bay Area. Yeah, the Bay Area, that's the best what, weed. Green Door? Hmm? Have you been in the Green Door? The Green Door in Amsterdam? No, um, and um, I thought they in was the Bay. No, oh, Green Door's in Amsterdam. I'm about Jesus I'm, Christmas, brother. I'm talking about the other Green. It's time to bring out, man. And, uh, in 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 San Diego, no, San Francisco. Let it All go. Right, I'm, I'm let it go. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it. Go. <laughs> yeah, the Bay's got the best weed. The Bay's got it's the like best. the purest, stickiest, most. Paid attention because it's to. closest to the source. I mean, the the people who grow it, the hippies out there, are just fucking. Right. They're just traditional, just weed. They don't even care about the money, bro. They just care about the yeah. That's the, the super plant. duper hippies that are. They're like there. down to the soil, like every little microfiber. The like they play music for the plants. Yeah, music. Oh. They're in there. Yeah. Colorado weed is cool. It's kind of dry. It's a little dusty. You know. <laughs> it's not as it's not as sticky as West Coast weed. West Coast weed is that sticky, icky, bro. Isn't Colorado considered the West Coast? No, uh, it's you, not. I mean, you could consider no. it that if you wanted Denver to. Is is D- look at the words you're using? In the West football, Coast and football. There's no West coast, coast on Colorado. I think maybe like with like radio, it's like considered West oh, Coast. Fuck. <laughs> now that's the Midwest, isn't it? It's West. Oh, it's not West Coast. Yeah, I don't think they're on P- Pacific time over there. I think they're. Yeah, they're mountain time, what right? Time? Mountain time, then they would not be West Valentine's Coast. Mountain time? Yeah, they're mountain time. <laughs> yeah, that, that wouldn't yeah, be. That's yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, that's central. Yeah, that's central. Yeah. That's Which the, is, they got Valentine? Yeah. Yo, yeah, sonny, don't smoke what you smoked and drank what you drank and then come with all this knowledge right now. It makes you smarter, man. <laughs> KK and McQueen makes you yeah. fucking smarter. KK but he ain't say smart too. <laughs> he said some geography oh, facts yeah. over there. And he got some Duce mixed <laughs> he, in there. He said too. geography, he not said, facts. He said KKK. <laughs> 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 that's some good, that's history. <laughs> <laughs> now the picture on your shirt is making a lot of sense to me right now. <laughs> Show oh. who, who painted that on your shirt? Who's the, who's the artist? Who's the artiste? I think it's I mean, do you know? Or Sonny get what? Oh, let me say something. Let me say something that you said, Ti. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Sonny. Hold on. Let me say something. Let me say something. Ti, Ti, and Little Boosie. I know that y'all. You know, y'all could have went to war. You could have did a whole bunch of tremendous. Crazy shit, but the fact that y'all showed that two black men could get together and, and could talk it out, I really commend that. I really respect that. I really salute that because we need to keep pushing that. That it's not always drama. Everything, a disagreement doesn't lead to y'all fighting and shooting. I love the fact that y'all got together. So T.I. and Boosie, wherever y'all at, you know what I mean? I want to salute and say, I want to commend that. Yeah. I'm so tired of violence. I don't like gun violence. I don't mind fighting though. All right, yeah, yeah we fighting. See you, we see you kick the shit out. You train fighter, but yeah. like it's healthy to like if you fight like in a controlled environment right. because niggas gonna get into it. You're gonna have a disagreement, but if you're gonna shoot somebody over it, that's kind of whack. Right. Yeah. But if we can throw the hands evenly, you'll really see if somebody really got a problem or not, and that would solve a lot. You know, if niggas right. would just square up. That would solve a lot, but a lot of niggas are scared. And it used to solve a lot. A lot. Of, yeah, a lot of niggas don't want to fight, or if you could train to fight, then you, it would give you more confidence to, if somebody be like, yo, let's get it, they'd be like, all right, cool. I, I don't have to have a gun to, uh-huh. you know what I mean, handle this. But it, 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 uh, there's a lot of programming that goes with that too, but I don't mind fighting. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think it's healthy. I think you should learn how to 
control violence, do it in a do it in a controlled environment, and get it out the way and continue on with your life. And you be sparring? Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing about trained fighting, it also teaches you how to lose with grace. Yeah, for sure. Because somebody's right. gonna win and somebody's gonna right, lose. Right. You know what I mean? But like the the majority of the, of times when we spar, it's not like a. I hate this dude. I'm trying to take his head off. Right. Somebody gets a good shot in, you're like, good shot, Some bro. technical shit. And if you go to war with somebody, and if it gets nasty, but at the end of it, you both come out, you're both like, yeah, that was a good one. You respect them a little bit more than anything. And I I think people can learn from that. Because there's discipline in it. Yeah, well, right? absolutely, 100%. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good for you. It's definitely good for Hell you. Hell yeah. But, but you're not trying to spoil no rap or nothing like that. I mean... If it came down to it... I, I mean, it's it's for sport. It's not like a competition. So it's like it's fun. It would be fun to see what somebody else knows, or to learn from them, or to show them what what I've learned throughout my time. So like, yeah, it'd be, it'd be fun. Oh, uh, I got a couple partners in the league, man. Uh, the high rollers. That's the that's the Brazilian jiu jitsu where you can smoke weed and roll at the same time and you compete for uh, a pound of weed or multiple pounds of weed. Wait, what league? Did we just jump leagues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went yeah. from fighting to smoking. Yeah, right yeah. Back. It's, it's the same. It's the same thing. Fighting. Yeah, you fight and smoke at the same time. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole league that's, for it. It's called that's High the Rollers. League you smoke and you fight? Yeah, it's called High Rollers. Where's that yeah. at? Brazil? It's, uh, well, they do fights everywhere. My partners have teams. There's a Khalifa Kush team. There's a he their headquarters in Vegas. They get it on there, and the Nobody fights are regular, and it's and it's on regular TV, so it's filmed. It's it's growing, like you know what I mean. It literally, the, it's, the, grow, it's growing. Yeah, you smoke weed and you and you and you fight. Yo, son, you yeah. gotta join that league, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm 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 one of the uh, creative directors and the co-owners of the PFL. It's like in direct competition with Bellator and UFC. We're on ESPN, and ESPN two, and this uh, fighting league is a point point-based system where the fighters at the end of the season they they have opportunity to fight for a million dollars which not a lot of fighters get to right unless to they do get to in their whole career tier, exactly right. so this takes like you know the top fighters and they're able to earn points throughout the season depending on who they win against and how they win and that's how the championships are determined so it's really based on the fights and it gives them opportunity to own shit um they own their their own licensing and all of that stuff so they get they get hell of money just off of who they are and fighters who their contracts end at other companies they come right over to the mm. PFL and just make hella money. Yeah, yep. Jake Paul just signed on with us. He's gonna oh yeah. Do, he's gonna do a fight. Yeah, yep. He's gonna and do his that's first mixed martial arts. He's gonna do his do? first MMA fight with PFL. He's, he's only been boxing. Yeah, yep. Right. He's gonna do his first MMA fight with PFL. Kicking and all that. Kicking. He better rest, kick. Kicking. Motherfuckers gonna kick him and smoking. Elbowing. They're gonna take him to the ground. He got. He. I'm sure Knees. he knows all that. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You go to the corner and you could take a bong rip. This is crazy. <laughs> this is insanity, man. You should just have Papota there with a gun and yeah. just shoot everybody. <laughs> they don't yeah, call it a gun, exactly. it's a machine. That's what I mean. That's how we win the fight. You smoke the whole ring out and I come yeah. in there. You, wow. you appear after the yeah, smoke. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so so one thing one thing you said is um when I when I asked you um you, you came early was you like you said I'm a businessman and I, and I love that obviously. But let's talk about these businesses that you have. Not just the liquor, but the fighting shit is dope. Fighting shit, yeah. That's the yeah. Is dope. There's PFL. There's Liquid Death. There's a water. This is a oh, water you're a part of Liquid Death. Yeah, I'm part of Liquid Death. Oh, I thought they was giving that, you the water. Yeah, no, we've been growing this brand Yo, for that, years. Oh. That was genius. Yeah, yep. Oh. A genius yeah, brand. A beer yeah. can. How far along were they before you got involved? They were brand new. Yeah. Yeah, yep. They were just looking for people to get down, and they were really generous. It was like, yo. I'm not going to talk about the details of the deal, but it was really, really nice. Yeah, that's a, that was genius, man. Yeah, yep. Hell yeah. Uh, there's Liquid Death. There's uh, McQueen. But I have the whole company is, uh, you know, it's all under everything. So Bel Air, uh, Duce, uh, do you get, Bamboo, Vion. You don't yeah. have to answer this, but do you get... Um, yes. Piece of all of them? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Hell yeah. I gave up a little bit, you know, because this was mine. Right. Like, Brett went fully in with me. Um, McQueen 
So this was just me. So I gave a piece of this up for a piece of the rest of the company Dope. as well. So it only makes sense, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Because we're all family anyway. And when one Y'all does helping each other grow. When each one other does brand. well, every right. every one of them does well. Right. Um I don't know if you ever seen the company Shop GLD, the jewelry company. Right. Uh, I'm, I own a piece of that because the oh. creators of that like came out of my camp. So when they first started the business, they gave me a little piece of that. Uh, I have Hot Box by Wiz. Uh, well, no, it's Pack Bowls by Wiz. Now, actually, they they changed it. It's uh, during the pandemic when all the restaurants closed closed down. I opened up a delivery only restaurant. And we're in like hella cities all over the place. So it's basically like a delivery only menu that you can get. It's not like a full restaurant, but it's, it serves food. And it's packed bowls by Wiz. Uh, fuck. What else do we got? Damn. What else do we got, Will? Yeah, the GLD shit. Uh, we got tons of merch. What else do we got? Other businesses. <laughs> Yeah, we got the Mushroom Company, Mr. Caps. Um, I thought Sonny was telling you what business you have. I'm like, yeah, Sonny, right? you too high right now, bro. <laughs> telling him what businesses he got? Yeah, GLD. Okay. <laughs> we'll get you right. Yo, take a hit of that Uka, man. Oh, yeah, the weed farms. Oh, the, oh we got a gaming team, too. The Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Knights. Yeah, we got a gaming team as well. Like like, like video game. Video team. game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that shit makes bread. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> Don't yeah. sleep on that shit. Hell yeah. Pittsburgh Knights. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Those are like the ones that are like right in front of us. And, uh, uh, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, hell yeah. Nah, hell, I'm gonna take one more shot then. I'm gonna Yo. take two more shots. <laughs> Just Taylor game. We keep it Taylor game. We keep it Taylor. Wiz, we want to give you your flowers. You really deserve them, like I said. Um, you're really a legend out here. You really stood the test of time. And, and I, I love listening to your music because I could understand. The person? Not only the person, but I could understand that you stand in the test of time, meaning this was music for here. I could make music that sound like that, but it's my, my lane. Mm-hmm. And you continue to do that. And um should be noticed. I appreciate it. it should be come on. That's it, 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 it. All right now. Take all the shots I took. I mean I took That's it on a one lot. I took it in one glass. Bro, I would I be so a, hammered. I would be calling up all types so you, of but people. But you used to be drinking yeah. heavy. Yes. So so what happened? What, oh, wait. The huh? Cuban goodbye. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Totally, yeah, for sure. What, what made you stop? Your kicks wasn't coming out good? Nah, the kicks were... <laughs> <laughs> the kicks were perfectly fine. Yeah. The mistakes let me, let me the think. makes you... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, yeah, that's part of it. It wasn't really too bad of mistakes. I think I just... I don't feel like I can afford too many more drunk nights. Okay, it, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. Was, it just, it just, it just, it just ran its course. Like it hit, it hit a wall. Like right. I feel like everything else in my life that I'm doing is like lifelong. You know what I'm saying? Plus and the training that you do, I'm sure that, that yeah, that's, that I'm gonna be doing that for the rest of my all. life. Like I'm gonna be making music for the rest of my Did life. You ever I'm gonna see be him like, yeah, you know, yeah, like growing he, brands he for the rest of my life. Somebody. I'm telling you, like drinking, so like, like it just it hit a ceiling. Like it just it wasn't getting any better. Like it was just like. That's the crazy shit uh, we're in. It gets better for us, and it's terrible. Uh, have fun, bro. <laughs> no, it's that's why, good. It's that's why. Good. That's why I we love. What, I love. I love people to just get fucked up, like because right. I understand it's fun as hell, bro. Like that's all it is. It's fun. Like right. it's hella fun until it's not. You know. <laughs> <Right. Skirt>. <laughs> <laughs> you drop the ching. <laughs> But it's cool. I like I I love people to enjoy some drinks. I I love people to fucking rage and party. I I'm not one of those people who you can't like get drunk around me. Right, teach their own. I just ain't finna like indulge. Yeah. I I love smoking weed. I love mushrooms. Right. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you don't want one of the chocolates from my homie? Yeah. yeah. I do the mushroom pills, bro. I do capsules. Oh, I got. I'm gonna do some right now. You what? I got capsules. Give me those capsules. No, I got capsules I'm from a homie. I'm gonna do drugs on your fucking show. But I'll still give you from my homie as well. Here, look. 
Here's I do. From, I do. From sh- my homie. I do shrooms and shrimp. Same out. one from the chocolates he took. Micro dose. Those are micro dosing though. Yeah, you're not gonna super trip. Four hundred milligrams. That's a lot. That's why I stopped taking those. Oh, but the lion's mane. Is that? Is this? No, the, no, it, no. It, it's still. That's the, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, these are strong, bro. Those. Are, I don't know what's about to happen right now. I'm about to do some mushrooms. Okay. All right, this is when uh, Sonny, on, Sonny, Mouse. take a mushroom, buddy. Nah, Look at Sonny. The gift. Sonny, are, no, you already took one. Take one, Sonny. Let's go. For what? You don't need another one. Oh, because Jamie wants one. Oh, you want one. Right? Let's go, Sonny, Jamie. Take one. Let's go, Jamie. Take one right now. Hey, Jamie. I blew up. Uh, Let's go. Hey, he's chilling. Huh? It's all good. Eat the whole thing. Are you taking two? Yeah. It's not, okay. It doesn't have that much. Of you see him take two? Huh? I've never seen a nigga take two. Yeah, you're fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll play that record again. Hell yeah. I gotta go piss one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can piss three more times. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna piss too. Good. I'm about to rap, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good looking, my nigga. Sunny and I fuck with Sunny, bro. Yeah. Sunny's like, with the vibes. He's a great dude. Sunny's yeah. with the vibes. It's a good character, yeah. man. He's yeah. a great guy, man. Yeah. That's, That's a good yeah. dude, man. I love that. Got to be down. This, this is our homie <laughs> okay, from Uka. Okay. I don't know if we introduced him. Right is my shit working? New one. Is, oh, is my shit working? Fly in the new Uka. Oh, <laughs> I like this. Remember, you're taking that one home. Okay, yeah. this, this mine? Yeah, yeah. I like this one. Damn, right, we want to sure. give him a brand new one. So oh, wait, gotta... do we have them in the box? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, mine's good? Okay. Cool. Yeah, so we can get it. This is amazing. Yeah, <coughs> go ahead. I got Haze. I got Uka. I got... Oh, yeah. I'm going to be so high. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you want to ask a question, Waz? Yeah, sometimes you know he talks about like back in the days when he created the war report, like super thug. He artists would like chase that hit, you know what I mean? So uh-huh. I like, did you have an album or a hit that you created and then you were like stuck in that Ferguson moment that like, you were saying that you were chasing and trying to get it? Mm-mm. No, I never felt like that. I felt like with I I I I'm more I have like a more of an issue of as soon as people start liking some shit, I go on to the next thing. Right. And that might be like a gift and a curse. Like, like you I've pivot heard people, from that? yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard people tell me, like, bro, like, you gotta stop doing that. But I just, I don't like when people like shit too much. You know what I mean? It's right. like, oh, y'all like that? Let like, me do something different. Like you know you said, what I mean? That, that's enough of that. Yeah, so I never get stuck in my ways. And I, and I always do shit that's totally different. Like, so from Cushion Orange Juice, I did Cabin Fever because I wanted to do something totally different that didn't sound, you know, so laid back and chill. And people gravitated towards it. They loved it. And then I did Rolling Papers, which was like more mainstream. And, you know, I got shit talked on that, but the the fucking records went platinum. And then I did um, Owen IFC with the fucking... I forget what color the pants were. I think they were like cheetah. Oh, it was the cheetah jacket with with the American flag pants. Yeah. And people was like, that's not hip hop. Like, you know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. Like, but for me, I was like really Al Green and, you know, Marvin Gaye inspired. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to make something that just looked like an old school album cover. So it doesn't always align with what people think is me or like on expect, brand for, expect, yeah, it's like right. what their taste for Wiz Khalifa is. But it's always me just like uh, narrating my own story, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Your evolution, sure. you're evolving on your own. I can't help it, yo. I don't, I don't get comfortable like just sitting in one place, like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm always changing or always coming up with new ideas or just different ways to do things or inspiration or you know what I mean. How, just ways to reincorporate things and just tell a story without even like saying shit. And if you get it, you get it. Cause a lot of the, my fans and a lot of people that like fuck with my music or fuck with me, they they gravitate towards the same things. So they'd be like, oh, this is that, or that's why he did it. But just on a larger scale, a lot of people don't get that shit. So it just comes off as fucking weird sometimes. So like, I, I just move forward and and just hope that, you know, one day people will understand it or grasp it, but it never holds me back or gets me stuck to where I, I want to redo something that, I, that I've that i done before. Like, nah, never that. 
You ever did something that was against the norm that you regretted? Mm-mm. Or an experiment that went wrong? No, I never had any experiments go wrong. Oh, wow. I, pre- I, I, I try to calculate everything to where I'm pretty much going to win. <laughs> and a win for me, like, it might not be a win for everybody, for everybody else, else right. but I feel like... But you I'm, already had calculated what would be a win. Exactly, and I'm satisfied with right. it, and it's a success based off of just getting to release it, or, you know, I might not have got everything that I wanted to get done, but I'm happy with what I got done, you know what I mean? Like, right. I, I definitely just chalk it up and keep it moving. Like, I'm always moving forward, and I think that's just a blessing that I have as a creative to not really be focused on like money or popularity or any of that. It's just, I just love to create and I love to be a part of the conversation. Like, you know, just add me in there. So it's like, you were always looking at the glass half full, not yeah. half empty. I mean, it's like, what could I do? Even right. if some shit don't necessarily work or doesn't do it exactly what, what I wanted to do. It's like, all right, that's a lesson. It's not a failure. Right. It's like, what can I do to do better? You know what I mean? I'm not looking at, 80 people around me like, you should have done this. You should. It's like, well, what could I have done to make that shit a guarantee? You know what I'm saying? And then just move it from there. But, when was so, the last time you spoke a blunt? <laughs> I don't think it, it's been a long time. No, nah, I'm not going to come back that. home. He's, <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's gross. <laughs> he's, he's That's not, not home. Uka ain't taking him there, bro. That's not come back home for nowhere a second. near home, man. Well, well, we all started with blunts. Yeah, that was, I was want to bring you home. I was, getting, I was getting tricked. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking yeah, with fuck you. Fuck all that. That's terrible. I like weed. I enjoy weed. Yeah, there's That's weed, motherfucker. Nah, there's weed in it. It's wrapped, it's, it's wrapped in there somewhere. That's the thing. It's a high-grade cigarette. That's the thing about growing up in the hood. Like, they try to, like, make it seem weird to, like, hit bongs or joints and things like that right. like, if you don't no, smoke. No, 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 no. Like, oh, man, you smoke, yeah. you smoke weed, dude. It's like, dog, I actually, I was, like, I was easy. care about weed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you start to learn about weed, you don't want to smoke a blunt, bro, because that shit ruins the fucking actual pot, bro. To each his own. It ruins it. <laughs> it's, ugh. To each his own. You're not even fully experiencing it. I don't smoke cigarettes no more, so this is... That's a cigarette. <laughs> it is tobacco, it is. bro. Hey, man, yeah, don't yeah. be on That's, his side. No, I'm That's just saying, a, it is tobacco. <laughs> see, I'm a downer to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the health facts and all that, yeah, like, no, I'll no, come no. through with them, and niggas no, don't want to chill with me. I knew, I knew me. he was going to be mad. When I saw that footage online, I said, where's his... his He's 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 a tobacco racist. He's a purist when it comes to the. It's just not good for you, man. It ruins yeah. the weed. I'm not even saying anything that's not right. I'm just right. saying it. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually that's agree all. with you. Pe- yeah, it's all. Yeah, but it tastes good as a motherfucker right now. You're addicted to it. Exactly. Yeah, you're hooked. <laughs> he and- definitely won't want to smoke with Trick then. <laughs> Uh, what that? That's a totally different thing. Uh, trick Daddy? <laughs> yeah. I was, I'm not smoking a blunt with Trick Daddy, but I'll chill with Trick Daddy all day. Yeah. Trick, trick is a trick. <laughs> I'm talking about smoking That's a blunt. You gotta <laughs> smoke a blunt with me. <laughs> 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 now, Trick is the best. Yeah, I ain't smoking with a You gotta smoke a special blunt with yeah, yeah. a Miami blunt. Not that <laughs> blunt. Don't, don't I smoke heard that. about that blunt. Don't smoke that. I'm not saying that he's doing oh, that, but I heard, I know what a Miami blunt is. No, it's a Miami blunt. This is a lot. Everybody's doing that. I don't know if you can call it a Miami blunt, but you could definitely. Definitely call it a trick and a dirty. No, blunt. no, it's a, no. My, in yeah. Miami, that that was a thing. Yeah, that was a thing. But, that was a thing. But that I, was a I thing. feel like Miami grew, outgrew that. I don't know, man. I still don't know a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> still, 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 I'm sorry. I'll be outside. <laughs> I'll be outside. And you can, you can <laughs> smell it. You can smell it. I'll be outside. And <laughs> Mono. I'm sorry. I don't be outside. <laughs> so let me ask you, Jim Jones, uh, a close. Close friend of mine um, said recently that rappers, being a rapper is a dangerous job. And I, I agree with him in his totality, but there's different versions of rappers, right? Yeah. I imagine J. Cole could walk anywhere. <laughs> Why you say that like Cole ain't with it? No, I'm not saying like Cole ain't with it. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine. I'm just joking. I'm just, yeah, I'm just I, I talking shit. I can imagine shit. J. Cole could go do his laundry, ma- laundry and like nobody might not try to get J. Cole, in my opinion. Actually, that probably wouldn't be true. It'd probably be less true. You ne- Listen, they probably won't even think it's J. Cole. Well, that part, yeah. I see him chilling in the New no, York City part, getting a yeah. Frank. No one bothered him. Right. In that sense, yeah. 
And that's it. But in fame, there's always dangers in all in any kind of fame. <coughs> Preaching to the choir. Mm. Right. I agree with you. Do you think being a rapper is a dangerous job? Especially living in LA, right? Because they saying that LA is a one of the most dangerous places in the world for a rapper. Yeah. So I guess that's a two-part question. Um, well, I got a third part to that. Okay. J. Cole being able to go to the laundromat is a fucking blessing. Yes. It ain't as it ain't as bad as you think. No, that no, that, that's a, that is a blessing. It's a blessing okay. for him to okay. be able to walk through the park and go yeah. enjoy getting a freaking glizzy and not get bothered. <laughs> So shout out, shout out to J. Cole. More, yes. more rappers need to do that. Yeah. Look, they love the glizzies over there. No, no, we don't love that. No, 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 he's trying to be funny. I get, I, 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 I get you back. <laughs> Two time glizzy for that. So, it, like, my whole thing about um, rappers it being dangerous, it is, it is yeah. very dangerous. Right. Um, you're a target. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you're, you're a target for somebody to get a name. Um, a lot of people look at our profession and they're like, this nigga got it made. Right. So they're like, you know, if you come through with a car, they're like, he paid 100000 or 150 for that car. You might not have paid 150 for that right. car. That might have been, you know what I mean? For, for real. You might have got a deal on that shit. You might be paying rent on that shit every month. You know what I mean? Or whatever your chain is. Like, your chain might be big as hell, but yeah, like niggas don't know pockets. qualities of diamonds. Right. They just see that shit shining. They don't know how much it really costs. So you just become a target for things that you have on. And somebody could get a name off of what they do to you. So if it's, I rob this person, they get a name off of that. So that's that's automatic, like when you become a, a rapper, but or not a rapper, but just a personality, yeah. like just somebody who's out there. So you just have more of a responsibility to calculate your moves, uh, calculate who you're around, calculate the, the situations that you put yourself in. And the more you can avoid, the better off you are. Um, Shit happens, you know what I'm saying. So you have to be prepared, and you have to be ready, and you got you got to be in the, the mind state to you know protect yourself and to protect your brand mm -hmm. more than anything, and, and not be like you know uh, risking it too much. Not but reactive, I, right? Yeah, but at the end of the day, like you know, shit happens sometimes. Like you can you can never really people are uh, human. Yeah, you can't plan right. you can't plan everything, and like you said, uh, J Cole, he might not be a threatening artist. But he might have some crazy super yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, You know I'm, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Around. Fame, fame is dangerous. And people will use being a fan as a, as a reason to get to you, too. They'll be like, hey, what's up? I love your music. And then flip it on some, some crazy shit. And, and then, then you're just being nice to, you know what I mean, a regular dude as a regular transaction. So it's very scary. You know what I mean? Like and Eminem with Stan, with the, the song Stan. It's right. talking about that. Like anybody right. could have a Stan. Right. Like even, right. even with you, like um, to be honest with you, like I said, I follow you, so I see you in the gym every day, mm -hmm. and then I see you leave the gym in, in, a, in a coupe, but then I realize, oh, someone's filming him. So he's not alone. No, I'm by myself. Oh, really? Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You think? Do you think avoiding some of the shit is, is like not having jewelry on and something like that? Because that's it's not having jewelry on, but it's who you know, honestly. Like knowing you know, your environment, it's who you know. Like right. you have to be tapped in with the right types of people out right. there, right. and you have to be there for certain reasons. And for me, I, like people know who I know, and right. they know why I'm tapped in right. uh, the way that I am. And um, yeah, I mean, there's 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 a lot of different ways to go about it, but just. Being in LA and not being from LA, right. um, you gotta respect. The you gotta respect it, but people people know what's real and what's fake. So if you're just paying your way, like you know what I'm saying, as soon as that's up, your time is up. Right. Like if you have real respect from real people for real reasons, you gotta put in that work and do those things. Right. And you know right. what I mean. Like that's where I stand, and that's why I'm able to move the way that I move. And you got to take the time to do that. And a lot of people skip those steps. You know what I'm saying? They just look at the the important parts or the people who are there for them when they need them. And they don't really return that or just be normal when it's time to be normal. So it gets really Hollywood because it is Hollywood. But it's like that everywhere. It's like that in Atlanta. It's like that out here. Yeah, out here it's yeah. like that in New Orleans. It's like that in New York. It's like that in Chicago. You get pressed any and everywhere. Everywhere, anywhere you in the world. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> So you just gotta you just gotta stay tapped in with real ones, and you gotta put in that work, the real type of work with the real ones, and they and you'll be good. Honestly, that's that's and that's, really that's just what I learned. Pay attention to your environment and respect the environment you're in. Yeah. Oftentimes, people come from out of town, thinking because they're from another place, they can come disrespecting another place. Yeah. And you just gotta respect every. There's a hood everywhere. There's there's hood. I mean, everywhere. even if you respect 
super respectful and, and you're soft, like niggas is gonna try to press no, you. No, but I'm saying that's understanding your surroundings at that point. If you're soft, yeah. you understand where you're going as a soft person. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with being soft. Right, no, you no. just gotta be like, yo, all right, well, this nigga's right. soft. Don't like, play yourself. Exactly. Go to the wrong like, place. don't try to act hard. Right, right. <laughs> like, just be soft. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, don't, like, don't just be soft. What... <laughs> You'll get pressed as soft. Yeah, no, you're gonna get pressed, right. but like, don't try to be hard right. when don't you get pressed. Don't put yourself in the situation you exactly. don't need to be in. Exactly. Like, right. nah, I'm, I'm, I just do music, bro. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? That's all I do, fam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all the fuck I do. I do music, bro. All right. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Man, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank you. It really has been, man, because, like I said, <clears throat> I was happy to be a part of one of your first shows in New York. I didn't know that was your first show in New York. Mm -hmm. I thought it was one of them, but I was, I was happy to be a part of that. I was happy to see your growth. There's certain people that I see that I'm just like, man, I'm just, I'm just so happy, man. Like, you know Thank what you. I mean? Like, and that's real shit. It's like, it takes nothing away from me to be happy for you. Yep. It takes nothing away from me to give you your flowers. It takes nothing away from me to show you how great you are and how great you mean to this generation, our generation, and generations to The to culture me. at large, it takes yeah. nothing away from me. In fact, I think it makes me more of a man. Yeah, for sure. To sit there and tell you how great you are. Thank because you, Because you are sincerely great. And we love you. <laughs> and we love you. But, but before we get up out of there, is there what's, ne what's next? What's next for Wiz? Got an album coming out, Wizzlemania. Wizzlemania. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. Wrestlemania. Will you be wrestling soon? <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. You gotta I'm get not. into his new <coughs> tag I will, team. I will if they tag call team. me. I'm athletic enough, and I can do flips and shit like that too. So I'll what's be good? I feel like you got the meanest kick in hip hop. For real? I've been saying that this whole right. interview. I, I wasn't playing. I don't know if you no noticed. I didn't laugh every time I spoke nah, about you. I mean, kick. you know. I they, seen you kick and I, my rib hurt. Thank I you. said, oh, shit. They're getting you better, too. Going. I appreciate it. No, That's because no, no, no. you hardened that area. Yeah. That's that, just a brick. That, that shin. Yeah, for real. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Wizzlemania is dropping. It's, uh, it's a new album. It's full, full length. All bangers. I'm really excited. I got really good features on there. Um, everything is pretty much locked in. Independent? Independent, yeah. Who's going to ask you that question? Independent yeah. or major? Yeah. What I, do you well, prefer? I prefer being independent, but doing deals, like, exclusively. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to do... If, yeah, Like, you license your project. You, to you license your project, because a lot of people don't know, like, music isn't really owned by the labels. Like, there's, there's a lot of private companies and a lot of investors who will invest way more in a project than a record label. Right. I'm talking about way more. Like, And if you can lock yourself into one of those deals, you're going to get some cheese. And Wait, you're gonna... can you school us a little bit on that? Because I've never heard much of that. Yeah. I don't want to go too deep into it. Just, just the surface of it. Just generic. I just said it. Private, <laughs> private investors, way more. Like Wu-Tang? No. Well, not, no, no, not no. Because control. that album never got released. Like, yeah. these... What's up, fool? Uh. What's up, bro? <laughs> uh, nah, because that album was like one person owned it. This one is like they're buying staff, like radio, they're pushing it, they're promoting it, and you get like millions of dollars up front. Uh, yeah. But yeah. is that is that exclusive to someone like you who already has a track? No. No? No. It's, this if it's is worth, accessible if it's, to any if indie? It's, if it's worth money, it's going to sell. You can lock in a deal and you can find a company that is not a major record label that will invest money. Then that's all they do is invest and you'll get right. Man, we need to Hell yeah. find about these companies. And it's crazy because it's they, they, they just invest. Like they're not, hand, they don't know shit about music. Right. So you run everything. Like hedge funds? <sighs> See, I'm trying to dig for the, no, I for the answers Busta here. Rhymes, I believe Busta Rhymes did that. But he was the first person that had an album on you, Google. You know all these people who no, are selling I, I get it, but you're saying Busta Rhymes. You're saying Wiz Khalifa. I'm asking for the average artist that's trying to not oh, go to major label. Oh, I don't know the average route, Get funding. Is that something that they can access, or is it only a Busta Rhymes and a Wiz Khalifa? Anybody can access it. Because these these private companies are investing in what's making money. So if it's valuable, if you can go on tour, if you can sell merch, if you can sell records, if you have streaming, if you're monetized, if you have 
a video that's doing certain millions of views and it's guaranteed to make a certain amount of money, they're going to invest a certain amount of money to grow the project. Right. Whatever this project is, it could be for an amount of time or it could be for the single project. Me or Busta Rhymes will probably just do like a one-off because right. we've already been through so many major label deals or things like that. But somebody else can be in their basement and somebody could be like, yo, I see the potential in your growing. Here's $220 million. $220 million, you yeah. said? Yep. Someone in the that. basement? Uh, yeah. Yep. Man, yeah. we need to, see, you don't want to talk about it, but I need to talk about this. <laughs> You ain't trying to end private the investors, no bro. Huh? Nah, I'm ready to go for a Cuban Cuban goodbye. <laughs> and there's no, you can't point anybody in a direction right now, cause not right now. I'll holler at you. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll see y'all next drink champs. <laughs> off camera, off camera. When I'm yeah. when I'm floating in this motherfucker, everything on me is fucking gold and shit. <laughs> I'll be like, remember that private investor I told you about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Y'all gotta wait. Okay, we'll wait for to right, be continued. Yeah, we're giving a little game. Okay. Okay, so we got the businesses, we got the investments, we got the career, we got the, the the acting. What is left for you to do? Um, I'm having a great time raising my kid, bro. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best part of it all. That's what brings it all together. That's what really is, you know, my favorite thing. Right. He's 10 now, so I'm just looking forward to the next, wow. you know. And it went by like that, right? Oh, man, it went by so fast. And to think that in another 10 years, he's going to be 20 years old. Wow. So it's like, I got to, I'm, I'm in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've already been in there, but it's like, yeah, it's like really, really important. Like, you know, right. like. 12, yeah. 14, stuff. All of that. Just, you know, yeah, yeah. He, that's my little man. So yeah. that's my, that's my job. That's my, that's my main focus is, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, family, just structure, just keeping him right. His his little personality is so so wild. So it's like you know he he needs he needs that that gathering <laughs> that that, that I got for him. But yeah, it's fun, man. I love being a dad. I love showing up for him. I want to have more kids. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I oh, think so I think goal I, right now. So yeah, I think like the career stuff. Yeah, yeah, the career stuff is not like not like um Nick Cannon. It's like no, 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 not like that. Nick I mean, Cannon if if loops. you know if if that's the if that's if it's the, in vibe, the cards, right? Whatever the vibe is, but it's like the career thing is you know I've been doing that for a long ass time. It's like structure and family and making memories and fucking getting a lake house and going out on the boat and right. riding jet skis. Like that's the type of shit that I look forward to. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 setting all that stuff up. Well, god damn it, man. Hell yeah. Wiz, man, thank you so much, man, for Hell coming yeah. through here. We wanted to give you your flowers. You no deserve doubt. them. You're a real one. This is for legends, this platform. This is for people who um been here. And we think it's going to continue to be here. And you are definitely one of them. Since we started this show, I've been reaching out to you because... You have. Yeah, I've, no, I've been reaching out to yeah. you because... Um, uh, I probably never said this to you, but you're one of my favorites. Thank you. know you. what I'm saying? Because yeah. if I'm having a bad time, I can go to a, a, a Wiz playlist and something's going to come on that's going to make me either... Who you them boy? Yep. Or it's going to make me happy. That's what it's all and about. And that's what's up. You know that's what I'm what saying? That's about. why I fucked with Pharrell in the beginning because that's really what street people or people from the streets is. We're really happy people on yep. the low. Yep. We just was mad because of our condition, mm -hmm. our situation. Yeah. And I had to give you your flowers. I was wanting to give you your flowers. And thank you, man, for coming. <laughs> So we're going to take two pictures and you do some drops and then that's it.